It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots, and um, yeah, welcome to another week of uh, Brilliant Idiot Bullshit. Um, our guy Wax is joining us. Hey. For some reason, yeah. Wax wears shades all the time now. I think he doesn't want us to see the love in his eyes that he wow. has for Carla. That's what it is. This is hypnotizing time. I can't do that. I, I can't hypnotize nobody else. And now I see like no other girls want to holler at me when I got the shades on. So I'm staying faithful. So, so hold on. You wear the shades to block um, any any attraction you may have to another woman. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stay focused. This right here, these are, my, these are my hater blockers. I didn't even know this was going on. So it's actually working out for me. What year are you in? Hater blockers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what year slang is that? Hater blockers? Listen, I'm, I'm still where I'm at. Man. I'm still with the toes and the white tees. Listen, I do, I do what works for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Um. Uh, uh, let's start. Uh, oh, can I can I bring something up? that Taylor course, said the other day. She said this on. So she's uh, just be positively brilliant, or what a fucking idiot. I think this is maybe both. Okay. Okay. B- because I don't want to say what a fucking idiot, okay. but you know what one it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, she said that she runs an eleven six forty. Uh, no, hundred yard dash. Get the fuck 11-6 out of here. Eleven six is fuck what she here, said. Eleven <laughs> six. Taylor, I pushed you this morning. You're too heavy. <laughs> Right? Oh. To run an 11 six. What, what, oh, could you okay. what could you roll her down a hill at? <laughs> a hill? I was thinking more like a lane. Like a bowling ball? Yeah. <laughs> Strike! But now y'all want to see me in the race anyway. I'll bust oh, your ass. I'll bust your ass. Oh, 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 oh. You, how old are you? I'm bad. Yo, you guys had a good one. It doesn't you matter. Have a race. And I, I won the first time too, so I, stop. I, I, that was debatable. Come I'll on, you, what are you talking about? I'll beat you in a race like that. We'll be waxing a race. Yo, Wax, Wax, you really no, tore your ACL? I won. I, won. I did, but I, 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 uh, I beat the, I beat the, um, the dog though. No, he did. I ain't lose. Did you really tear your ACL? I lost. I lost. I lost because I got hurt, but I ain't lose because I fucking lost from the dog. I went. I beat dogs. But did you tear the ACL? <laughs> Are you injured? What is that? Huh? What is that? What, what do you so call it? An ankle. <laughs> <laughs> Like a pack of SATs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you don't have to tell us. That's fine. Um, I already told yeah. him he was racing a pit bull. And? And I got I got a little injured. I'll be, I'll be out for a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to jump in the pool, get right. Everything's good. Let me see that like, stomach. What, what else you want? Exactly. Let me see that stomach. We're still good. The arms, everything's oh, still no, money. Oh, no, bro. Now you're good. Now you bugging. You, you, look bugging. Li- you look a little chunky, man. Nah, I ain't no chunky in this. Come on, man. Look at the neck and everything, bro. You bugging. That's you know that's the first thing that go. The cheeks and the, and the neck. Uh-huh. You don't look a little puffy right I here. I think he looks a little swollen. Uh, he do, hey, man. man. You listen. do. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Baby, hey, listen, even I the definition in the arms man. is I know, different. I know I'm good. Man, you, the definitions in the arms is different, bro. A little yeah, bit different, man. Yeah, yeah, even that joint look all small. Your fat yeah, ass joint looks small. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my figure just too big for blunts. I need, they need to make something big. They need to make something different. Lord have mercy. Kind of small. Mm-hmm. All right, positively brilliant. What a fucking idiot. Uh, what did we see this week that was positively brilliant? What did we see that made us say what a fucking idiot? I mean, I can't stop thinking about the the election. Like we're recording this oh. on Thursday. Thursday, and, we, and and we did it a day late, thinking that we would have the answer. We have an answer, yeah. And still no answer. Um, about to be though. It's, it's, he's like, it looks like it's Biden, right? Yeah, he's six points away. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But everybody, everybody keeps saying that there's like more votes coming in from these different places, and that yeah, but this, this yeah. it's mail in ballots, right? So right. And those usually mm-hmm. favor Biden Absolutely. is what everybody's saying. Yeah. Even in Republican yeah. states, they favor Biden? I mean, he's already flipped. He flipped Arizona. He flipped well, Michigan. Well, that's the thing I thought. Someone was telling me Arizona's still. It's still out there. But yeah. like Biden's up. Biden's been, it was like Fox called uh, Arizona what? They called it early. 36 hours ago. They called it early. Yeah, I mean, wow. it's going it's, it's to be Joe Biden. I'm, I was dying laughing. At Donald Trump put out an official presidential statement what is this is an official <laughs> statement this isn't a tweet <laughs> this is actually trump pence letterhead hold on let me see if i can find this shit again. <laughs> this shit is so clown. funny clown, this is bro. trump pence letterhead uh, <laughs> the fuck? yes trump pence letterhead november 5th 2020 statement from president donald j trump 
If you count the legal votes, I easily win the election. If you count the illegal and late votes, they can steal the election from us. President Donald J. Trump. <laughs> the best you got right now, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's out of there, huh? Yeah, I don't like that he's it's a sole loser. The reason I don't like that he's a sole loser is because it um it takes away the mystique, right? The mystique is that he's the tough guy, like he's the he's the he's the like boss of all losers. bosses. Yeah, but keep going, keep going. No, I'm just saying he's the he's the he's the big dog on campus. So now it's just like that's the best you got, bro. But that's the like to me, I never saw him as I saw him as petty as fuck. So if mm. I'll be honest, like if I was him, I'd run in twenty twenty four. I'm so petty. If he's alive. If he's alive, I'm so petty. <laughs> I will run every time until I'm dead. Just to beat that the motherfuckers that beat me. Get home. They put him in jail, bro. You, that's the other thing. I've been yeah, saying this for you. They're, they're putting Donald Trump in jail. Right. That's Donald why Trump he is going to go out the White House like that, because he knows he's going to jail he's once he's going ex- on that soil. Exactly. Donald Trump yeah. is J- Donald J, the J stands for jail. Really? <laughs> he's going to jail, bro. We know this. It's, it's the why tax do we think we don't shit? know this? It's the tax yes. shit. There you go. But rich yeah. people don't go to jail, bro. Let's be honest. Donald, they're gonna find a way to send Donald Trump to jail. You think? Yes. And somebody told me something about how he could pardon himself, but then he would still have he can't pardon himself on state charges. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But he, he can't he can't just pay it back. I have no idea. I don't know. He should be able That's to pay that money rule, back. Though. Like a president could just make someone who did something illegal not do an illegal act. Well, I guess do the illegal act. But like it's just a weird thing. I don't understand why they have that power. It just seems odd. I'm the president. Oh, he's the president. You gotta have some type of power. power. But <laughs> why? Why why do they give that to him? Uh, maybe because unjust sentences. What you say, Wax? Get out of jail free car. He got to have one. He he not normal. He can't have the same fucking get out of jail free car as mine. He got to have something better than me. You gotta why? Get out, you got to get out of jail free car. He's us. the president. No, he's a president. He's supposed to be higher than us. Nah. You don't think so? Nah. No, come nah, on. He's the one of the people. Especially when the people hire him. I get what Andrew's saying. When it, the people hire him, no, he shouldn't be higher than us because we can't do that. Exactly. Doesn't it sound like some shit they just threw in there? I mean, shit. A, like, lot of, a lot of criminals clearly have been president. About to say his whole, all these years. <laughs> like that's, that's how you know. That's how you know you need fucked up friends to become president. Think about that. Yeah. That's how you know you need fucked up crooked friends to become president because the president has the ability to get them out of jail. That's how you know you need people going to jail to be president, man. Yeah. Why would they give a president that power? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm gonna put this for positively brilliant. Um, what's going to be positively brilliant is what happens when Joe Biden hits that 270. It's going to be one of the most entertaining days on social media. What do you media. think is going to happen? It's just it's already heating up. Like yeah. the, the 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 mail-in ballot memes are funny. Why? What did they somebody do? said like yo the mail-in ballots hitting like edibles and then somebody yeah. they said the mail-in ballots coming through like and they had the scene from Avengers Endgame when all the Avengers were coming back from uh, the yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's already I, I seen getting to that. You saw Smokey. I seen Smokey. Yeah, what Smokey was she was like uh 43 is not enough and the mom was like make it enough. <laughs> Smokey for Friday. Oh, and he started oh, recounting yeah, the money yeah, over yeah, and over. Yeah, make <laughs> oh, make it enough. That's what I'm saying. It's going to be very, very, very entertaining. Because one thing about life that we all know, boy, when the tables turn on the bully. <laughs> boy, oh, when the tables turn on the bully. He's shutting down that Twitter, bro. He if, he, if he loses, you just got to go off Twitter. Because he didn't even go to the roast. <laughs> Remember the presidential roast that he was supposed to be at? They're like the, what are they called? The uh, the uh, White House correspondent. Correspondent. He wouldn't yeah. even go there. Imagine what his mentions are going to look like Man, if he loses, bro. Bro, bro. and it's like when you, his stats, his stats for president. You're going to be a one-term president who got impeached, who took the country oh. on, on, on the brink of literally killing its democracy oh. as we know it. Dude, and Nancy Pelosi not going to shut up. I mean, listen, let's be clear. Democrats don't have anything to be happy about. Like, they don't have anything to celebrate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like I think no. that the Democrats got to do a lot of soul searching as a party. You know what I mean? Like, they spent all that money this year trying to get back, you know, the, the white women that they lost in 2016, only to have those white women go out and vote for Trump more well, in 2020. Yeah. Did you actually see the stats for who voted for Trump? That shit was fascinating. It was actually more. It's, it looks it looks like. I don't want to say Obama-like coalition, but it looks like more of a diverse coalition than even maybe Biden had. It he only lost votes in one demographic: white men, white people. Oh, white people as a whole. White people as a whole went oh. down. Yeah, I saw white men. I didn't. I saw white women go up fifty-five percent. I guess overall, maybe okay, okay, white okay, people okay. Uh, went down, and then every other demographic. Oh, 
Every other demographic went up. Black men was 18 percent. Um, Latinos were riding for them. Latinos, they, 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 yeah, Cuban Americans, especially in Florida, Venezuelans, Venezuelans, no, Nicaraguans. Yeah, Florida, they got wow. that fear of socialism. Please, Trump. I'm glad. I'm actually glad Trump lost because imagine him trying to say Nicaraguans. Yeah, that'd be close. In the second term, he wouldn't give a Listen, fuck if he oh mispronounced. Oh my god! <laughs> Listen, is there any way? Is that'd be his favorite he country, bro. He'd be nonstop <laughs> talking about what they're gonna do. I'll tell you one place we're not gonna yeah, help. <laughs> Yo, is there any way he could win at all? There's a small chance. If you go to the courts, so he needs. I he needs nah, he Arizona. Have you have to sweep everything. You no, have to win Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, and Nevada. And no, North not Carolina. Nevada. I think it would just be North Carolina, and Georgia, North Carolina. Pennsylvania, Nevada. Yeah, he'd have to win. Yeah, yeah, he'd have to win like four. But I think Georgia yeah, and, and uh, North Carolina aren't that far off for him. I don't think mm -hmm. they're that difficult, right? Biden's flipping Georgia. Is that right? He's flipping Georgia because wow. all of the votes that are coming in now are, are counties like Fulton County, you know where nice. Atlanta is at. Like it's real close. I think. And what is like, that? What are you trying to say? Why they they came late? Why was that? About? Shut up. But <laughs> I'm nothing. What, what is that? Who's that? Wow! Jesus but that's like Avengers Endgame, though. That is like Avengers. Yeah, man, you gotta be careful, bro. <laughs> Listen, I don't, I don't put nothing past Trump at this point. But I mean, is I, I, what I see now is everybody throwing the bully the middle finger. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. oh no, nah, he's on the brink. Let's get him. Don't even give him yeah. no life. Like. Pennsylvania rejected him. He's like, get the fuck out of here with that court shit. And he's trying to raise money to pay his legal fees. No, he's not. Yes. He's trying to Come pay on, money. Trying he's trying to raise that. money to pay the states that he's suing right now. No. Hey, man, it's bad, bro. <laughs> it's bad. One thing that I hope everybody learned, and I'm not going to say learn because it's not over yet. We can't even really have this conversation until that 270 hits, right? Mm -hmm. but, yeah. we, but it looks like that's yes. where things are going. And we used to always compare Hopefully. Trump to what rapper? DMX. No, man. What? No, man. Kanye, no. Kanye. See, y'all done forgot about him already. He's about to prove my point. Who? Timmy Turner or whatever that guy's <laughs> name was. What is it? <laughs> Designer? Bill Design. Cosby. <laughs> you're close. <laughs> it's Brooklyn. You're close. Oh, um. Biggie. No. Jay-Z. This is What's sad. It's proving my point. Cormega. He's in jail now, right? Cormega. Oh, Takashi, oh, six nine. I told y'all we, we, you can go back to this podcast. <laughs> yeah, we forgot him, bro. Come on, that's man. what I'm saying. Yeah. You can go back to this podcast a couple years ago or whenever it was. I was like, yo, all of this shit is entertaining now, but always prepare yeah. for the ending. These planes yeah, always all land good. and the wheels don't come out. Y'all ain't even yeah. remember the kid just now. Yeah, I forgot his name. I legit forgot his name. Damn. Lord wow. have mercy. That's Always crazy. plan all the way to the end as best as you can. Make sure the things that you're doing right mm -hmm. now will make for a good ending. Yeah. yeah. So. Interesting. It is what it is. But here's the thing. I don't think he goes away. If he's not locked up, I think that he's a major fixture in either news or entertainment. Nah, they're going to lock him up. If, if hypothetically, no, he, he doesn't get locked up, somewhere. you don't think he's just going to retire. Like, that dude's going to be out there pounding his fucking chest. He's going to have TV shows yeah. or something. He's going to have some, he, he like, go to Australia news and get the organization. Fuck out of here. I don't mind that, though. Listen, I don't mind Donald Trump existing, just not existing in a position of power to where he can I would prefer cause harm. him to exist in... Like a role as king or something. That'd be great. That might be worse, though. No, king. Saturday Night Live. King? King, just no power. You have zero power. You can't do <sighs> anything, but you still get to tweet. You still get to just talk for no reason. You can hold some rallies, say some funny <laughs> shit. You know, you can make fun of people. I don't know how he's received in America, though. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, listen, don't get me wrong. He a podcast. He what? He needs a podcast? So give him a podcast. Nah, a podcast That's will officially it. jump the shark at that point. I mean, listen, I know it's half the country <laughs> that really loves him. Right. But I don't know how he will be received by the 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 outlets he needs to be a star, so to speak. I mean, he's already he'll, he'll be a star. But I'm saying like, will late yeah. night shows just host him and act like it was yep. regular? Will Son, daytime shows just have him on like it's regular? Do you, you like just give him a book deal? You yes, know what I'm saying? Really? Think about what happened with George Bush, bro. You know how many motherfuckers yeah. died under Bush people because of those decisions? Like people, and now people he's talk like, about that. they forget. Now he's like best friends with Michelle Obama, jo and they're like, oh my god, look I at their remember when George Bush was considered the Antichrist. The Antichrist. I remember that. Yes, yeah, that's well. a good point. 
That's a good point. And it's 9-11. People say it was an inside job. I don't mm-hmm. know if that's true or not. Then you got the wars. The war is a alone. lot of people to get killed in the war. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, hey, I don't know. You're right. I don't know. Just saying, wait, time wait, heals what do you all mean, wounds you if you're white. Uh, right. <laughs> what do you mean he's... Um, what do you mean? That's you're crazy. Black, you're black, you're black, you hurt forever. <laughs> what did he do in 1984? <laughs> that ain't him, Jack. Shut up. What do you mean he's best friends with um Michelle? Huh? Only because he's best friends with Michelle. That's it. You but think that's that what it is? That's the power of black women? <laughs> that is not. I mean, if he is, is like, how I you think? think that if he wasn't friends, sorry, Rax, go ahead. But uh, how is they best friends? Like, um, um they like this. I think they like this. They like to sit next to each other at events. From what I, from something I read. I mm-hmm. something. Yeah, I, you said what? Oh God! What'd you hear? Come Tell on, us what's easy, happening in Philly. Easy, it was the hot. Stop Tell it. us what's hot on the don't Philly wire. Don't disrespect Barack like that. What, what, easy, don't do easy. not disrespect Barack the way I think you're gonna disrespect Barack. <laughs> How do I disrespect? What'd you I hear, thought you Taylor? were saying they have some romantic interests or no. something. Oh no, no. <laughs> okay. Some back. I heard that Barack of, Barack's family is like related to Bush's, like down the line. That's what I heard. Nah. You got to you got to stay off the dark web. Yo. <laughs> there's a reason why there's a crack in the Liberty Bell, bro. Lord because on. Jesus, there's no way how. Actually, this no, they're like is half white, and so I'm saying that's the story. That's what I heard. I'm oh, not sure. man. All of us got a little white in us. No, I actually, mean, that's an interesting point because they do say that Barack is related to like Thomas to, Jefferson or some yeah, shit. Like okay. he has some like. Nah, they do. But Barack is related, related to. Bush. I'm probably related to some famous white people. I'm Irish. Yeah, but in a different kind of way. Bush and Michelle is fucking <laughs> yeah, related. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you're telling me that? I really got to bring so, that up, bro. I didn't do the research. That's, that's what I heard. That's all. So basically, you're saying Barack, uh, so Michelle, I, I, I and George Bush are cousins? Though. Huh? You're saying George Bush and Michelle are cousins? I guess so. Word on the street. <laughs> oh my gosh. Street, Imagine. Right. Listen, Imagine, I'd rather that than, than anything else. I'd rather that. All right. Yeah, my wife ain't gonna have that same partner. Brilliant. What else you got, man? What, what else you got? This I mean, week, I don't, I've been, I've been really, um, I've been really into the fucking election shit. Yeah, like, that's the only thing I've been paying attention to. Um, I've been watching CNN a lot, and I, I realize. I really re- appreciate the analysts on CNN and the reason I appreciate the analysts on CNN because, man, you know how hard it is to talk about the same shit over and over, hours, and over and over and yeah. over and over. 12 hours. And if you, and if you're guys. Like, huh? ESPN guys do it. Nah, it's a Somebody little football, different. Football, There's a new no, game no, no, every no, day. No, this is the same game. They're tapping the same screen. Yeah. They're like, this is Arizona. Okay. Yeah. I just found yeah. out where Arizona <laughs> was on the oh. map. I had no clue. Oh, I know who I got for what yeah. a fucking idiot. Go. Adrian Broner. Oh, dude, that was so funny. It was. <laughs> it's so funny because I don't like, need to laugh at the man though. I'm not even talking about his financial yeah. situation. I'm talking about he's built like Saucy Santana. You ever seen Saucy Santana no, on Instagram? What's that? What's that? Pull up Saucy <laughs> Santana. On, let me go. Let me That's get Saucy? that. That's Saucy. Look at Saucy. Now tell me, Saucy and Adrian Broner. She thick, 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 thick. You don't yeah. think so? <laughs> yeah. He in the courtroom showing all that shape. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dude, he was, bro. He's got a stack. Trying bro. to entice the judge to let him off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, judge, let me turn around one time so you can see what I got back there. Am I not wearing a belt? Oops. <laughs> judge, I dropped something. Okay. I don't, but I don't, I don't, I'm going to be honest. I didn't feel sorry for him just because. Adrian Broner made a lot of money. Yeah, that's on him. Exactly. Adrian yeah, Broner was uh, making a lot of money. Tens of millions of dollars. I remember when he told Rock Nation kiss his ass when they tried to offer him like, what it was like $30 million. For I him. didn't know it was that much. Yeah, it was like $30 million for like wow. four fights or four or five fights, some shit like that. Wow. I don't know. He's brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. I just know that he turned down some money for Rock Nation. All I'm saying is he had it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you you fucked it off. Yeah, so if you have like, it and you lose it, that's on you. We don't have to feel bad for it. If somebody steals it from you and you're like uneducated to the point where you don't know, yeah. that's sad. He just blew it. Yeah. But if you blow it on dumb shit and, and stun it on lifestyle. people in the process. That's the other thing. Like when you when you, yeah. you blow it but and then shit on people in the process. And I and I think A B's a uh, I, ulti- I think he's a good dude ultimately. I, I don't know him. So he, I can't he just say. he just makes he just makes really Stupid decisions There's and poor uh, choices. Damien Lemon, shouts our our bro, Damien Lemon, D. D Lemon, bro. He see it's, uh, said something to me once. He was like, "Dudes will go broke trying to impress broke dudes." Yes, and that mm-hmm. might be what happened with AB, bro. And, and once again, boy, when them Shit. tables turn on the guy that was flossing all the money, oh, and, <laughs> and now they see you got thirteen to your name. 
Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But I think the reason they didn't just say you got none. Your girl now. Why would you say you got thirteen? Yeah. Why would you say? You I would just 13? be like, I got none. Nothing. Yeah. Zero. And I then, have zero dollars. <laughs> I don't have thirteen. <laughs> and why flash the money on Instagram? That's the other thing I don't rem- I don't understand anymore. Like, what do people get out of flashing money on social media? Serious. I mean, yeah. I'm, like, I don't get it. It's because we don't have kids. I guess like if guys had tits, we'd never put money to our ear and none of that shit. But we don't got it, so we need something to get attention for no reason. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, you're when right Dave though. Say right. what? When Dave Chappelle did that skit on his show, what he do? It's like the first season like maybe the third episode and he was saying how like girls need to be more um happy about having big tits or whatever uh-huh. and showing do you remember that one no what, what is it explain it though he was just saying the yeah. girl was having big tits and then made it seem like without her big tits then no one will pay her attention ah yes 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 <laughs> well then she got to get some money we'll pay attention to money yeah it's different. Yeah. By the way, you know, I don't see women stunting like that. No, no, I have seen women stunting like that. Who? Yeah. Um, just just hood chicks that they be on stunt the with our money. Yeah. They'd be like, get your man to buy you a Birkin. <laughs> it's like, wait, what's who's stunting? <laughs> <laughs> who's so who's winning in this situation? Yeah. What Paul else? Birkin. What else did we see this week? And by yo, I'm gonna tell you something else too, man. The sad part about AB watching AB, I mean watching Gervonta Davis. Yeah. And then seeing what happened to AB, sad, and you really got to salute Javante because Javante has kept his discipline. He's kept his focus. Nah, he, he, had, a, he had a risky one in that. So? Remember, remember when he got in that little altercation? Probably. Yeah, that was he got. He let his emotions get the best of him, but I respect him because he apologized for it, and he right. said he knew it was yeah. wrong. Right, you know what I mean. Right. I mean, listen, the yeah. best apology is change behavior. I'm not. I can't. I can only give people the same grace I want somebody 100%. to give me. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. Like, and yeah. it's like, what, what do you do after somebody apologizes? You supposed to just keep fucking? Nah, fuck that. I don't accept your apology. Like, yeah. Fuck out of here. Y'all voted for Joe Biden. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Y'all Trump. Trump. Y'all, you know what I mean? I don't want to hear this Yo, shit no more. That's the, true. the two people we voted for for leaders you of the free world. You are rocking for Joe Biden, and then you're not forgiving people for shit that exactly. happened 20 years ago. And, Who are and, you? And Trump. Trump, you know, and Trump. shit that happened three months ago. Yeah. Like, fuck out of here. I don't want to hear that shit no more. Cancel culture is dead. Yo, why we only forgive presidents? White presidents. White presidents. <laughs> yeah. Because they don't care. Huh? Because they don't care if you care or not. I think that um, we forgive presidents because we don't have a choice. Exactly. We're forced to make this. We're decisions. forced. Yeah, it's like wedding fuck. meals. You know, it's like you can get the salmon or the steak, and that's just what the fuck it is. Oh no, I leave. I go to somebody. I go to a restaurant. I like how you had that little buffet action at yours. That was fire. Yeah, we did that for Kente's wedding. <laughs> Say what? Oh, my cousin Kente. Oh, how's Kente? Eh, he's surviving. Yeah, he's Kente. Yeah, Kente chilling. Hey. Yeah, Kente. Kente. <laughs> <laughs> Kente. Kente had mad food at his wedding, but we were in the we were in the party, like uh-huh. you know, and it's like for whatever reason. Nobody let the party eat first. Yeah. So everybody that was attending the wedding stood up and just bum rushed it. Yeah, can't do and it. And took all the food. So we left to go yeah, to something to eat. We gotta, go, we gotta bounce. You gotta leave your man's wedding, bro. Hey, hey, man. <laughs> That's why you need a little structure in the wedding. People don't realize you need a little structure. A little? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the whole te- thing is structure. I know, but I'm talking to my girl just about how we'll, how we want to do Stay something. Stay out of it. Wow, I, and I man. said, listen, whatever you want to do, all I want to do is just give what I think might be helpful notes because <laughs> here's the thing. You and I have like put on shows before. We've done live shows. Yeah, we've done live yeah, events. Yeah. We know the problems with a live event and we know the things that make it go smoothly, right? Whereas someone who's never done that before, they wouldn't know. So if she's yeah. like, nah, I just want people to come. There'll be some food trucks and tables everywhere. I'm like, yo, yo, yo. If you don't give people a place to sit, there's going to be 14 chairs at one table and there's going to be two people alone Hire by a themselves. wedding planner. 100%. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies. But I, in her mind, she's like, I just want to have a party. She don't like attention like that. She yeah, don't want to be yeah, like yeah. center of attention. Mm. She don't want to do like the father-daughter dance. like that. To her, that's just not really what she wants. She just wants a party for her and her friends to like hang out, right? And like all of us just enjoy ourselves. Almost oh, like it's not about her. <laughs> Say what? That's the reception. Yo, man, you got, let her do whatever yeah. you want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My part's <laughs> done. You know Stay out of it, bro. I'm telling you. I got her the skating rink. It's over for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm That's where his first starts. Stay the fuck out of it. Congratulations, by the way, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Don't man. treat this it like great. it's your your weekend. It's, meaning, it's meaning, for meaning her. Like, it's meaning for like her. when you have your comedy show, it's Andrew's show That's weekend. That's it, bro. Nope. Uh-huh. This is you walking in. On somebody's set, it's the show already going on. You just can't, can I do five, ten minutes? I'm real five quick? minutes. That's it. That's it. That's it. What's that's up? how you treat yeah. it. I agree with you 100. percent And maybe yeah. that's why it's like it doesn't. It's not as bless you. It's not as important to me because like. 
we've I've done that before. I've had a big event that was like celebratory yeah, yeah, in terms yeah, yeah, of like going on stage, right? But you know, for people who don't have that, this is their moment where they're just getting applauded for yeah, and everybody loves yeah, them, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. And uh, but that's the thing, man. It can you need some structure for people to enjoy themselves. You will be overwhelmed with emotion on your wedding day, though. Really? Yeah. You don't realize it until you get there in that moment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's yeah. just like everything, like everything immediately. Palm sweating, and you like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, 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 my wedding, I was standing at the door greeting everybody yeah, as they was that. coming in. Yeah, yeah. And you know, yeah. I hadn't seen my wife all day. So when you stand in there with your dudes, and like when she comes down that aisle, boom, tears, bro. It's wow. over. Like, I'm telling it's you, wild, you're gonna be bro. overwhelmed with emotion. Gan, teeth. How yeah. you know, wax? Cause man, I'm thinking about getting married too one day. I seen shows through the show. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I don't like, know, bro. How the fuck you, you do it before me? You don't look like the man she fell in love with, man. Them arms, <laughs> them arms, <laughs> <laughs> them arms lack in definition, bro. I'm telling you, no, I don't good, know, man. man. Them traps good. look a little small, it bro. It does look different, bro. You <laughs> got some baby you. weight for sure, man. <laughs> I know I'm good over here. Are you positive, bro? Guaranteed. I don't know, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm good. Can, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can you stand up? Let's see that shit. Is it an issue with the knee you know or not? <laughs> No, I ain't got no knee problem, but I got to move the camera and do all this type of stuff. But yeah, I'm Did your sure knee blow out player. because you were so fat? Was that the reason? <laughs> <laughs> Did it just give wax, up? Wax weight will fluctuate, bro. Nah, huh? listen, it man. weight will fluctuate. Listen, wax Vandross. Like wax Vandross. Like wax Winfrey. It's, it's, it's like 242. Yo, how do we never call Van Luther Vandross? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why did, why did we never do That's that? Fucked up. Yo, shout out to Van. How the fuck did we never do that, That's bro? Van Lathan, yeah. how we never. Wax, you're going to be calling Van in a minute to figure out how to lose some weight, bro. Man, I'm That's just good, true, man. I'm telling you, listen, I, I stay between 254 and 242, man. I'm, I'm still around that range right now. We're good. Ain't no way in hell. I'm on a bar. I'm still getting it in. Do like this. <laughs> Yo, stop it, bro. Yo, what you stop mean, it. You bro. Like, oh, oh, holy holy shit, shit, man. Holy shit. 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 How many push-ups y'all did today? I probably did more than both of y'all. You, you should. What I'm saying? You need to, bro. Right, but that's what I'm saying. I did more pull-ups and everything more than all y'all. So I know I'm good. I'm, I'm still good money. I hope yeah. so. I, I don't man. I don't know, man. I ain't missing the beat, baby. I see a titty. I ain't titty. missing the beat. Whoa, yeah, is that a titty? Man. Yeah, see that? Oh, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> a titty. So my shit is oh. right. My shit is yeah. up. No. What, what you talking about? You don't got to flash no money. You got titty. <laughs> 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 I never did anyway. Fuck it. <laughs> they ain't got to worry about that with me. What, I don't know oh nothing. What, um, what else we got? When Donald Trump said Lil Pimp and said Lil Pimp. That's a, that was so hilarious. What do you think about these rappers just taking the MAGA money? I was thinking about that, right? Yeah, um, what is well, first the, of all, here's the thing. I am. It's a budget. When, I think it's a budget too, but when it comes to black men, I, I'm a, I look at it from a different perspective. I am happy that black people are um, being, 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 being free with their politics, even if I don't agree with their politics. You know cool. what I'm saying? Yep, yep. Like, like they're not, they're not, they're, they're, they're not saying, okay, I got to vote this way. I got to vote that way. They're really, I guess, paying attention. They're engaged. They see some things that they like. You know what I mean? You feel that way about Lil Pump? I don't pimp. know about Lil Pump. I, I guess I that's what I'm pump. saying. Is like, is that really your politics, <laughs> which I could respect? Or are you just kind of grifting? Are you just no, kind of I don't going, think nobody cared something. about Lil Pump, though. Yeah, Lil I don't. Yeah, that's I don't. the wild part. Like, I saw people <laughs> saying Lil Pump is canceled. Y'all were never fucking with Lil Pump. Yeah. I don't even know who that was. J. Cole named it, though. J. Cole. Remember, he went after Lil Pump. Oh, that's he who was... that was about? No, that was a long, it was like two years ago or so. I know you you're see talking the about. one where like Rich the Kid was asked apparently and they were going to fly him to Michigan and he said, nah. By the way, all politicians do that. I, 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 got, really? I, I got offered bags really? over the past couple of weeks. How yes. much? Um... One was high six figures, but it was it was it was presented uh it was presented to it was presented to two people me and me and another person and um you know because they were targeting and this is from this was from Democrats they were targeting um young black males and I think like the last the week before the election they say the numbers 
for for black men weren't coming in in Michigan and I think Florida, it was right? it wasn't Flo- was it Florida? Yeah, they was they were looking. I think at it was both. Florida. Yeah. It wasn't Michigan. It was Michigan and Florida the way they wanted it to, and um, yeah, they offered money because they wanted everybody to do last minute social media pushes, and I I I turned it down. I said no, mm-hmm. only because like it just feels funny taking money and it was from Bloomberg you know what I mean it, it feels funny taking money from because that's what they do it's not from the candidate it's from someone who supports the yeah. candidate yeah it just feels and, and I mean that's, that, that part is no secret because it was on CNN that Bloomberg uh, spent like a, a 12 million dollars late spent 100 million in like a few different places but yeah but it was 12 million last weekend he's right. he put last minute push yeah, yeah, and it was like yeah. I'm not wow. taking that money just because like yeah, you can't buy me or buy my endorsement you know yeah. what I mean you could do that to me I think <laughs> right? yeah I'm about to say how much was it <laughs> <laughs> and, and it wasn't Trump, right? They didn't want you to do Trump, right? It wasn't Trump. What? It wasn't Trump, right? Nah, Trump didn't off me. I mean, they, they, his his campaign used to try to get in touch with me, but I never spoke to any. Well, I spoke to one person from his campaign, hmm. a brother over there, yeah. but I never spoke to like Jared Kushner or anybody like that, hmm. even though they was asking me to. But it's yeah. just like, yeah, it's like once you start doing stuff like that, to me, you can be bought. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what side you want. I don't give a fuck if it's right or left. I'm not even if I'm supporting you. I'm not taking money. Yeah, to support yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they basically gave the bag to Lil Pump, probably. Lil Pump. I don't know if they gave it to Lil Pump. Really? He was just there for the hat. I don't know. Though. He was there. Though. He made an appearance at a rally, right? But why Lil Pump? I think maybe that was all they could get. Exactly. To be honest with you, <laughs> I think that's what happened with Wayne. I don't think Wayne. I mean, listen, I can tell by that tweet. Like we've all gotten paid to post tweets before. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you yeah. know how they send you the copy and You're you like, copy and paste. Man, you, come on. You can tell when I'm like, Andrew ain't write that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Wax ain't write that. You know what I mean? I can look at that and be like, Wayne didn't write that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's like, come on. Come yeah. on. Wayne don't, I, I, and I truly believe Wayne don't even know what the fuck going on. Right. I really believe that. I don't really believe Wayne isn't paying attention on any level. Yeah. So it's just like, yo, the president wants to meet you. The president said they'll, they'll pay you X, Y, and Z. Take a picture and post this tweet. All right. Yeah. He thought he's rapping. He on meds. He ain't say shit about it. All the backlash he got, he said nothing. He commented. He, he put out a subliminal about his his breaking up with his girl. I yeah. think that was this morning or yesterday. <laughs> yeah. But he said nothing about all the backlash he received from Trump. Yeah. So it's just like that's how I know he don't even know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I definitely think it was a bag involved. I, I, it had to be because why would you just all of a sudden bottom of the knife, Little Wayne, come in swinging the bat for Trump? Like, it yeah, made no wild. sense. But. Yeah. Let's just say hypothetically, he has been paying attention and that's who he wants to support. I don't give a fuck. Mm. He has every right to do that. Yeah. And I am all Bless. for Bless. black men, you know, uh, being free about their politics, even if I don't agree with their politics. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want us to be so predictable. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like the way, I like the, way the Latino vote is in America. Yeah. They'll cater to it much more. You don't know where they're going. You, yeah. Florida, they might go one way. Arizona, they might go one way. Texas, yeah. they might go one way. California, they might go one way. I'm fine with that. Yeah. We were talking about this on, on Flagrant. Like, what if <laughs> like, we want to get to a place where the black vote is not a monolith, meaning it is completely normal that black people would be Republican and Democrat, just like white people are Republican and Democrat, mm-hmm. just like Latinos are Republican and Democrat. And that happens, I guess, when we come to a place in society where it's equitable for everybody. Because mm-hmm. ideally, you don't have to vote for your blackness. You want to be at a place in America where you're just voting for your interests your interest. because your interests, no, because your life is looked at as equivalent to everybody else. Yeah. You mm-hmm. unfortunately have to vote your blackness because right now, you're maybe not receiving Things the aren't same equal. Thing. Exactly. So wouldn't yeah. it be dope if you didn't have to consider that in your all, vote? All, all, if all things were created equal, we wouldn't have to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But all, all things aren't well, equal. you could vote your paycheck. You could vote your religion. You could vote yeah, these other money. things. Unfortunately, uh-huh. you have to vote your race. Yeah, we're still, I mean, black people are in a position like we still have to, um, we have to vote for our, our civil liberties over anything else yes you know what i mean like, i have, I yeah, have yeah. to i have to support the candidate who wants to yeah. push through the george floyd policing act yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah, like i i have to you gotta vote liberties not luxuries Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. title of the podcast yeah. <laughs> liberties not luxuries that's the truth though but for real yeah. you know it's the truth so it's just like i'm not mad at it and, and, and i actually i actually think after um this election i think i think it's gonna be a lot of people breaking away from the democratic party not to be conservative, okay. but 
just to establish our own political party. Like I love what, you know, West Bellamy and, and, and Candace Hollingsworth are doing with our black party. I love the fact that Diddy is with them. Like I see that happening more. I see oh, yeah. it being these different factions of black groups, black parties who literally just vote their interest. Right. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. once again, black people have saved Joe Biden's ass. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> yeah, there, there is no white man in the world right now that owes black people more than Joe Biden. Not one. Yeah. Well, the owes black people. The owes black, black people, people more, more than Joe Biden. Ah, yeah, Not yeah. one. Huh? I said Zimmerman. I put but what's what's the um what's the after election? What it look like now? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know what he said, bro. <laughs> nah, he, he said he said uh, nobody um owed black people more, and I said Zimmerman owes us more. But like, why Zimmerman? I, because I mean, he just owe us. Like somebody got to get him. Like he's still out there. It's kind of wild. And I'm out here in Florida, and it's like it's a little different out here. Yeah, I think Zimmerman even. will take you right now, based off that titty. Yeah, I'm fucking, looking at. He, listen, even with my leg like this, <laughs> listen, even with my leg like this, I'm always still ready. You gotta understand, I'm a little different. I'm like I'm like two hundred. And right now I'm like at a hundred, and everybody else still at seventy. So I'm I'm okay. I'm still good. I still got it. I don't, I don't know. What, I don't know bro. what you just said. I don't know if you were counting delegates. I don't know if you were talking about the right. I got no fucking clue what's going on right now. I'm superhuman. What I'm trying to say. I but still listen. After after Biden won, how do it look? How do this election look like? How do you think people gonna really wild out or what? Um, you know what? I I I thought. And listen, I think it's still going to be some violence, um, but I don't think so. And the reason I don't think so, because it's really people can look at this and see this is really democracy playing out. Like there's nothing funny going on. No the matter violence how, will only happen if it's perceived that there are things that are funny going on. Absolutely. And Trump is very much doing. leaning into that. He's that's saying he's there's doing. funny shit going on. That's what he's tweeting. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's like looking at his hair and him trying to convince us that it's real. You know what I'm saying? Like we can look at this election and see there's nothing funny going on. You know, like I saw somebody put on Facebook last night. They put, um, this is some bullshit. On Monday night, Donald Trump was down by a half a million votes in Michigan. But then the day Joe Biden wins, what the fuck is going on? It's called Counting votes, <laughs> all right? And it's a normal process that usually happens on election day and the day after the election. You have 130, what was it? 103 million people voted early. Mail-in ballots and absentee ballots. You know how long it takes to count 103 million motherfucking yeah, votes? Give damn. people some grace. Everybody yeah. not a Chick-fil-A drive through worker? Yeah. A Chick-fil-A drive through yeah. worker can count them shit fast, get you your order right, everything Public be nice and too. neat. Yeah, yeah. Regular humans can't do that shit. Give them some grace, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're counting votes. Yeah, yeah. That's it. So it's like, God damn. It's like literally if 100,000 people voted for Biden, say 100,000 people voted, right? And first day, you get 30,000 Trump votes. You're like, okay. Then the next day, it's leaning, the other 70,000 leaning towards Biden. That's the way shit works. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. That's the way shit works. It shouldn't be shocking to you. It shouldn't yeah. be shocking. Yeah. So I think people can look at this and be like, nah, Donald, you just fucked up. Yeah. Like America I mean, answered what, the what, bell. What if he stay in the White House? What if he just stay like, fuck that, I ain't going nowhere. That's great. have his shooters around. I don't, I don't expect any of this to end normally. Let's be clear. Yeah. Okay, please. I, I mean, don't, even though this election, I still I still think we're we're in for a, some a great 90 days. Yeah. Unless yeah. he's just not a good finisher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Unless he's just not a good finisher. He might not know how to play from behind, guys. That's the other thing. Yeah. He and might only be loser. good when there's a lead. When he's on top. Yeah. He's on top. Yeah. He yeah. might not be good from the bottom from the bottom. <laughs> he might be a better he's actually, he's actually trying. He's actually probably trying to win now. <laughs> He's not used to this. That, I don't know. We gotta see. Yeah. We got we gonna see from now until Jan, whenever they call the 270 until January. We're going to see what he's made of. I don't know if he's good in that position. Do you think that they would be trying to sneak loser. votes in? Like, what is the process right now? What? I don't see how they can. I honestly believe um, the powers that be have used Trump for all they're going to use Trump for. And then that's it. Yeah. Like, yeah. This, this happened. This is what yeah. it is. And people that we don't see that really control this shit. The yeah. deep state, if you will. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I still don't know what the enough. fuck that means. Yeah. I think it's just like a overarching term we use to explain all the things we can't explain. 
Why they say deep state or deep state or what? I mean, when they say deep state, I'd be like, are they talking about down south? <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I think it means just like people that are like entrenched politicians that have just been there for years, like a Nancy Pelosi type, right? Yeah, yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. She's just been in politics for years and she's probably part of a lot of decision making, but her position isn't one of, I guess, extreme power, but she yields way more, or wields I'm, way more power. Than, I'm sick of all of them, bro. I think um, yeah. I'm... I'm I don't want no more establishment Democrats. Well, that that's the thing that kind of like low key. The only downside, well, I guess you can find downsides and everything, but one downside of like a Biden win, I guess, is it's back to establishment politics. The positive of that is stability, stability, right? Mm -hmm. Establishment politics is more stable. Okay. Hopefully the division that we have in a country starts to get mended and people start to go, all right, man, look, the old guy ain't that fucking bad. And he's looking out for us. And he's looking out for everybody, whatever it is. And everybody starts to calm down, right? Because the only way mm -hmm. Trump could win is that charging his people up. And that shit was like the matrix. The bigger Neo got, the bigger yeah. Agent Smith got. So we're going to have a fight at the end. Um, so I guess there's a good part of that. But also you're like, Fuck the establishment. Like, there's always part of me that wants to, like, push back against the establishment and them making decisions that they think are right instead of the people making decisions we want to make. And mm -hmm. I don't necessarily know if Donald Trump stood for that, <clears throat> but I know that he was not the establishment. So there was part of that that was like, okay, I could kind of relate to that. In a he, way. Just, he just wasn't a president for all Americans. That's the problem. And that's, like, the, that's like, I hate, I hate the Democrats' ideology, that whole big tent shit. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you, you got to have that for America. Yeah. You, 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 unfortunately, you can't yeah. just cater to one base. Um, yeah, it's interesting, man. I, um, yeah, I'm not with It is the, funny that whites let him down. It is funny that like he was, called a, his he was called a racist, right, for the last four years. Mm -hmm. And the demographic of people that left him were white. Probably for financial reasons, though. Yeah. And, and, and because he didn't keep promises, right? But, but that, and yeah. that's the thing I think a lot of people don't realize when it comes to politics is like they did this Fox poll. I don't know if, they, if, they, if you saw it, but like I'll send it to you. And Fox was like polling his viewers about like how they feel about major issues, right? And like this is Fox News people that are watching, right? Mm -hmm. You think like the most conservative and they ask, do you want some form of like nationalized health care? Like 71% say, yeah. Of course. They were like, do you want to change Roe v. Wade at all? Like 60% said no. Like all these issues that you thought they felt super strongly about, it turns out they didn't. So the Democrat, Democrat voters and Republican voters actually feel kind of similarly about America, but their positions by the media and by politi uh, politicians as these like mortal enemies. But the reality is most of us feel kind of the same. And then we were talking about the other day and it was like, yo, this is kind of a culture war. In other words, like I think a lot of conservatives are just like, yo, just don't tell me what words I have to use and I don't have to use and don't tell me what like bathroom and all that kind of like don't 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 make me Fuck be so extremes exactly we need and, to be right yeah. here that's it not over there not over there everybody needs to be right here Boom. this is where the magic happens man but i think it's more cultural than it is like i think most people agree on all the basic shit and that and after that <clears> they're just like let me live my life you live your life that's a great and then point. we're good what you're saying is such a good point because that's the problem right that's where the arguments come in at. the arguments come in when i'm trying to tell you what to believe yeah. i don't give a fuck what you let believe me, as long as what you believe shit. doesn't impede on, on my Life. life and it's not oppressing me and marginalizing me do me do you i don't give a fuck what you want to identify as <laughs> i don't care what bathroom you want to use i don't give a fuck about <laughs> none of that shit this is culture war right here you i don't even I mean? care about that you know why i don't care about that because i wasn't thinking about this shit before they started talking about telling it telling you about it yeah. i never i never thought i never thought where does a transgender person go to the bathroom yeah oh, i well, mind my see. business exactly so i'm what i'm not tripping and guess what you tell me that you know, they want to use our bathroom. I, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I remember asking, I remember we did. I, I remember, prefer trans men use the male bathroom. Cause they're yeah, not going to pee on the that. seat. Remember no, we I'm did. not saying that. I was talking about with the kids and stuff. Right? Like, like, I'm not like, talking about the transgender. If it's up to me, <laughs> right? That seat is going to be so clean. And that's what I want. I want a clean seat. Wax wobbling all over the place. Pissing all over the walls of exactly. the fucking urinal. I got clean I'm up good. after his ass. I'm remember we did Uncommon Sense and we had the, uh, the transgender brother on. Yeah. I can't remember his name right now. Um, but I remember us having this discussion because this is when this stuff first happened with the, the laws in North Carolina. <laughs> well, and, was and I remember just asking a simple question like, so wait a minute. What? Can we just go back to what everybody was doing before this conversation? Because to go back to my first point, it's just like we all start arguing and disagreeing about stuff that we don't even think about on a regular basis. 
<laughs> like, why was that even ever a law? Why was that law implemented? Like, what happened for them to implement that law? Let them do that. Let them do them. It's all distraction. We do us. Everybody mind their goddamn business. Most people have never even seen a trans person in real life. It's distraction. They're putting out the issues and they're fighting this fucking culture war when the reality is most Americans feel the same way about the important topics. That's not to say there aren't fucking racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic they're people gonna out exist. there. They're going to exist. But the most people, most taxpaying citizens that have a fucking job and they have a family they want to take care of feel the same fucking way. And if we just acknowledge that, if there was a politician that came out there and they were just like, Yo, don't y'all all feel more or less the same way about this? Like, hey, wouldn't it be kind of cool if everybody had access to health care? Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Who the fuck is going to go, nah, fuck it, I don't want health I don't want no free health care. The fuck is that? Yeah, like, he, got, he got a meat going to Mel's bathroom. You what? So good. So you got a meat going to Mel's bathroom. If you got a meat going to Mel, well, so they describe uh, women's parts as uh, meat sometimes. What are you talking about? Why would a girl? That's not. Anybody know a meat is a penis. The wildest shit in the world is when Wax ask you what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you talking about? You never about? heard that? Like someone called it a meat wallet? You've never heard that term before, Wax? Yeah, the little Arby's no. roast beef sandwich? Yeah. yeah I, I, heard, I heard a meatloaf. Oh, I heard, I heard a roast beef. Mm -hmm. Positively brilliant. The owner of Arby's, he just bought Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins. Oh, really? Yeah, and it was for a big check, too. Look that up. What's there, the look. move? Explain that. What's the move? He just bought it. He got the money, so he bought it. I didn't know motherfuckers eat Arby's like that. Wow. Mm. Whoa. But, but you think about it, Arby's, you don't see Arby's shutting down. Nah, and you know what? This shit been around for a minute. They got a fire campaign. Really? The, we've got the meats. It's for, ready? Uh-huh. It says, they bought Dunkin' Donuts and what? coffee what? being combined with Food conversation, you just hopped in. <laughs> what? Oh, I know, I know exactly how much they bought Dunkin' Donuts. How much is it? How much is it, though? 11.3 billion. He bought it for 11.3 really? billion. What do you get a billion? What do you get 11.3 billion dollars? Motherfuckers love roast beef, bro. Clearly. People love roast beef. I didn't, I didn't know people oh, fuck with all these like that. God and bless. I didn't know Dunkin' Donuts was for sale. Yeah, I thought you own your own franchise. Ah, so I guess... You own the franchises that they, I guess, lease from you or something like that? Yeah. Wow. Monopoly? Yeah. Well, shout, Yo, out. shout out to Dunkin' Donuts, bro. We got to acknowledge Dunkin' Donuts being a beast. Because eh. that shit was a donut company, yes. right? And then donuts became bad for you and everybody was like, carbs are bad. And then they're like, nah, we sell coffee. Coffee. And they became a coffee Cups. shop coffee. overnight. Coffee's where the money at. That's that why rebrand was brilliant. Mm -hmm. That's why if Krispy Kreme ever gets coffee, it's on. It's over, right? The Krispy Kreme donuts are worth the calories. You know what I'm saying? Like you will risk yeah, your yeah. diabetic life <laughs> for a Krispy Kreme donut. I don't feel yeah, like that about Dunkin' Donuts. Toe, right? <laughs> you need the toe. <laughs> give, me, give me an original dozen, original glazed dozen. I'll take that over a toe any day. Hot light. That I'm hot telling light you, is a, is a I got a plan. I'm going to uh, Krispy uh -oh. Kreme tomorrow. Uh oh. I already got it planned out. <laughs> the day before. <laughs> that ain't the I'm fattest serious. shit. I told, my, I told my daughter that Monday. I said, you know what I'm doing on Friday? I'm bringing home a dozen Krispy Kreme. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, telling, I'm telling you that right yeah. now. Do, 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 you, do you put it with the ice cream yet? Did you get fat like that? Nah, yet? that's too much. That's too much. That's what you that's be doing? Of, that's real yes. fat. That's what you be doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out the explanation for this, bro. I'm trying to figure out the explanation for this. He hurt his foot. Yo, you know what I hate about Charlamagne? <laughs> Charlamagne will go down one road, right? And then everybody will hop on that road. But yeah, that's a great idea. If you go a little farther than him on it, he'd be like, nah, you a crazy ass dude, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out this. I'm trying to figure out the titty, bro. I don't want to hear that shit. I'm early, bro. Taylor, is that a titty? I ain't worried about that. What I said to you last week, Wax? Stop bullshitting the life. What I said to you last week. Hey, you gonna listen to her? What I said to you last week. Look, we were recording. How are you gonna listen to her? I'm like, damn, why she getting a little, like, big? And he didn't listen to her. Yo. Well, I don't know what y'all saying. Thank God y'all see me sitting down there. Usually you can't, Thank God you see me sitting down. You better take them shades off so you can see what we see. Well, good. I don't see it. Jesus Christ, man. Listen, Damn, do, do, you, do you really think that a lot of people just voting for Biden just because just because everybody else is doing it and they think that's the thing to do? Because I ain't going to lie to you. I really don't know too much about the shit. I'm just voting for Biden just because. You didn't vote. <laughs> you did not vote. <laughs> Why you lie like that? Saying. You think just because I can't <laughs> see your eyes, I don't know when you lie. You did not know you ain't fucking vote. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what are yeah. they talking about? <laughs> I'm a criminal. 
But I'm just saying, I, I do think most of the people they they doing that. I don't think they really know what the fuck is going on either. Nah, they know. I think, I think, I think they're just saying doing. I think somebody like Donald Trump is very interesting because his yo, his bullshit. You see him just trying to fake vote, for no bro. reason. <laughs> yo, just, 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 that's I, mean, I got my voting stickers. Hey, listen, we won. Me and that's my Carla. shirt. Listen, we won. Not <laughs> my son. Listen. Her, her and Sam both voted, so me and Sam got that. We good money. I didn't vote. You didn't vote? Nah. I wow. Didn't vote. Yeah. That's fucked up. I was, I was so maybe, so maybe, so, so maybe Donald Trump didn't lose white people. Maybe white people just was like, eh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I didn't vote for him the first time, but. Don't just, clean it up. I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, vote, <laughs> I know y'all yeah, said it the whole time. <laughs> I did, but like, I, I didn't It's okay vote. to admit it now. I like him more this time. <laughs> <laughs> I was way closer this time. The like, first more, time I really did. Like more, I was like, this guy's a reality star. After four years, like, this guy got a couple good ideas. You was getting bits off of him. Say what? No, nah, but in all seriousness, bro, it was like, <laughs> I, neither of them, but then Biden doesn't inspire me either. So I'm just like, am I just going to go I'm vote? With you. No, I was for no fucking reason. And then I thought about Kamala doing third there. party, and then I was like, "Why would? I, why am I gonna go do third party?" And I don't even know anything about Joe Joe Jorgensen or whatever. And I'm just doing that so that if people ask me who I voted for, and I say no, that I'll be like, "Judge." I'm, I'm like, "Nah, fuck that." It's, it's, it's on them to make me feel like I need to do it. I voted for Senator yeah. Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. I voted uh, to, flip, to help flip the Senate, um, and I voted to legalize weed in New Jersey. Oh yeah, that's right. It's legal, ah, legal baby. Yeah, Recreational sales. It's, it's going that. down. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> yes. It's going down. It's going down. Yes. <laughs> Salute the hat story. That's why he bought Dunkin' Donuts. 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 Worry about none of that shit. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's a great. Yo, can, can you get like um Girl Scout cookie spots? What are you talking about? That's what they need to put out on a spot. On you really worried about dessert, bro? Yeah, in a real way. Saying, they they deliver that to your house, spot. man. You gain 20 more pounds, I'm going to call you Gerald Dessert. <laughs> I'm dead, man. You got nothing to worry about. I'm telling you that right now. Listen, I got to like myself at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So believe me, I'm on it. You said you got to like yourself? Yeah. I got to like myself at the end of the day. What you fat know what black man so don't like himself? Myself, That's bro. true, man. What, what fat black man don't like man, himself? you crazy as hell. If, if, if you got to keep doing this with your shirt and you fucking like be on like one tippy toe on the side, you don't like your fucking self. What are you talking about? That's why you leaning on you the angle. Like, you are you leaning. Girls. You leaning like the fat girls take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> You all clean it to one side. That is the lady. That is the lady. That is the lady. The one, the one foot up. The one foot up. Even the laugh changed, bro. It is, oh, it is, it's, it's a little clumpish, bro. Little, I'm not going to lie to you. It's a little low. It's a little clumpish. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, <laughs> what was his name in the Nutty Professor? Professor Buddy, Clump. Buddy Love. What's his name? Buddy oh, Love. yeah. Buddy yeah. Love. <laughs> <laughs> This shit crazy, yo. What the fuck was we talking about? Oh, oh no, but I, I, I literally, I did vote for Senator Harris. Right, you didn't vote for Biden. I did not vote for Biden. Yeah. I can't. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. I can't get over. I'm Harris. Yeah. Harris. I don't like. I just don't like Joe Biden. I'm not be honest. With you. I just don't like Joe Biden. Yeah. I don't like Joe Biden. I'm not uh -huh. saying that Joe Biden can't, you know, end up being a stable president that does some things to correct some of the wrongs that he's done, especially to the black community. Whether I keep saying it, the 86 uh -huh. crime bill, the 94 mm -hmm. crime bill, the the 88 crack laws so by the way it's gonna be good mm -hmm. to, to be able to have those conversations now without people saying yo you fucking up joe biden's chances mm -hmm. now nah, fuck all that we had jim clyburn on the show salute the og jim clyburn jim clyburn said in the first hundred hours not days i'm on that ass he said first hundred hours i want joe biden to put together a commission to go out there and study the 86 mandatory minimum sentencing and the 94 crime laws 94 crime bill and um after we study it for a year atone for it and he voted for the 94 crime bill. Respect. And he endorsed Joe in the primary. <laughs> so that's, I mean, by the way, Senator, if it wasn't for Senator Clyburn, Joe Biden would not even have gotten in this position. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was done. Mm. Uh -huh. he, was, he was done in the primaries until Jim Clyburn endorsed him right before South Carolina. And then the South pulled up, which is another thing I would say about yes. Democrats. When I say Democrats suck at strategy, the South should be the Democrats' battlegrounds. Like they should, like the same way Stacey Abrams made Georgia a battleground state, mm. Democrats should go get Tyler Perry, 
Let Tyler Perry dress up as Madea, and they should just go all through the South. Go hit all those chilling circuits because black people there just aren't energized yeah. to go vote. South Carolina, North Carolina, yeah. Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, Tennessee, Arkansas, all of those places that are historically red got Church black people Sunday. there who just waiting to, they want to go vote, but give them a reason. Give them a reason, yeah. Go, that should be the Democrats' base. Fuck, Pay attention. Every, fuck New York, fuck California, y'all got them. Mm. Go hit the chilling mm -hmm. circuit. Yeah, it's actually yeah. a good point. Wait the chilling circuit. It's like, why are you spending all this money on guaranteed victories? Go, yeah. go try to flip. That's Make really it look good. Hit the chilling circuit. You spent yeah. all this money trying to flip white women that left you in 2016, yeah. only for those white women to stay away in 2020. No. More of the story, those white women are gone. Yeah. They're gone. Yeah. Oh, don't I know it. Amen. <laughs> when a white woman leaves, she's out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank oh, God. I this randomly to Kanye. What he is it? put a picture of him. I'm what he doing now? Yeah, man. Come on. I, I wear sneakers. I like his sneakers. But Kanye, is, uh, he's always, he's an idiot. He's just, I just, <laughs> like the shit he does is so narcissistic. Like You want attention. I yeah. know for what? Like yeah. you a, you're a billionaire yeah. with your Can't own sneaker. <laughs> Motherfuckers wear Yeezys. Yeah. Are you married to, uh, to Kim? What yeah. more do you want? Yeah, it's never enough. It's never enough. It's Yo, never bro, enough. I would, this is what I really want for Kanye. Go deal with your trauma. Yeah. yeah. That's a hurt man. You think because of his mom. I don't know what it is. I just, see, no. a, I just see a hurt individual. Like yeah. It's, it's a little bit worse now, though. Like, the, yeah. the, the, yeah. the, the, the constant need for attention is disgusting. And, gross, and he, wanted yeah. to he wanted to drop his album on November 3rd. That just What's tells that? me everything I need to know. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, Nobody and, and, can have shine except me. And if the people around <laughs> you not telling you, yo, yeah. Kanye, knock this nut shit off, they ain't your people. Yeah. I don't want a bunch of motherfuckers around me that is telling me what the fuck I want to hear. You yeah, know what I mean? Do you that. think the Kardashians put up with it? Do you think Kanye or Kim voted? Because he's still Kanye. Yeah, Kim voted for him. He probably loves him. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I, wonder, I wonder when I... Seeing her say I vote, I'm like, uh, she had to vote for Kanye, right? She don't yeah. have to tell him. Yeah, it's private. <laughs> it's private. Nah, fuck that. I'd be mad as hell my girl don't Yo, vote, vote, vote for, for Kanye yo. West. Yo, we should start I hope she voted she for did. Kanye. That'd that be is a good up. question. Who did the fuck the Kardashian Jenners vote for? I think Trump? they didn't vote for. I think they voted for Biden, bro. Or maybe <laughs> Trump. I think they voted for Holy God, shit, they did not vote up. for Kanye. We need to pose that question. Who the fuck did they vote for, yo? Yo. I never even thought about that. Imagine that. You yeah, bring I, I, I seen that. Oh, I seen that picture he talking about I voted. He kind of outed her and everything else. I would, like, I would remember that and be yeah, like, I'm no out. <laughs> I'm out. That's mm. crazy. You can't even get your wife's vote. <laughs> what, what, is, what else we got? I'm sure she did. Um, do you want to do an ad real quick? Yeah, let's pay some bills. This one you I got to run out. All right. Okay. Um, yo, I got to run out, guys. But Andrew uh, Schultz is working on something incredible. I can't wait until he announces it so we can spike the football one good time. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm hype. I'm hype. I'll Just, be back. I'll see you guys. All right. Peace. All right, let's take a break to pay some bills. Uh, turn your dream into a reality with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easier than ever to launch your passion project, whether you're looking to start a new business, showcase your work, publish content, sell products, and more. Squarespace is the tool for you. With beautiful templates created by world-class designers and the ability to customize just about anything with a few clicks, you can easily make a beautiful website yourself. Squarespace's powerful e-commerce functionality lets you sell anything online, and analytics help you grow your site in real time. Everything is optimized for mobile right out of the box and there's nothing to patch your upgrade ever buying domains is simple and you'll get to help you need with squarespace's 24 7 award-winning customer support squarespace empowers millions of people from designers to lawyers artists to gamers even restaurants and gyms to turn great ideas into something real head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial and when you're ready to launch use the offer code idiot to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain that's squarespace.com slash idiot offer code idiot also the Brilliant Idiots podcast is sponsored by Blue Chew. Okay, yeah, let's talk oh. about you, you. Fuck with the Blue Chew wax? Yeah, you gotta fuck with that Blue Chew, man. For real? I, I, I got a baby on the way. Come on, I gotta impress her. Can't you can't have no you can't have a baby on some two minute meat. Can you see your dick when you look down now nowadays? <laughs> I can, bro. I, listen, I'm we gonna we gonna do a push up contest, me and you, before this thing. It is don't over. matter. The push up contest you. don't matter, bro. If that stomach. Who, <laughs> Who's pregnant? You a call? Money, bro. Listen, both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Blue Chew, 
<laughs> Wax swears by Blue Chew. Um, let's talk yes. about it. You know, something all of us could use more right now is sex, great sex. And Wax, you said that your sex life is, is better with Blue Chew. Yes, much better with Blue Chew, man. What does it do? Does it make you last meat. longer? They might way longer, man. If you even like look at your meat long enough, you would think it's getting bigger. But, you know, that's what I do. Oh, okay. Well, guys, yeah. you heard it from yeah, Wax. Sure. You, you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed with Blue Chew. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. You can take them anytime, mm-hmm. day or night, even on a full stomach. So you can be ready whenever an opportunity arises. Blue Chew is made in the USA. It's prescribed online by licensed physicians, so you don't have to go to the doctor or wait in line. It's even cheaper than a pharmacy, and they prepare and ship it right to you in a discreet package. No awkwardness, and you nice. don't need to leave that house okay right now we've got a special deal for our listeners visit bluechew.com and get your free shipment free when you use our special promo code idiots okay just pay five dollars shipping again that's i-d-i-o-t-s okay for our promo code and bluechew.com for the website promo code idiots to try it free please be sure to use our promo code idiots at bluechew.com now let's get back to the show um church announcements real quick um I know we can't talk about it, but I'm really excited about what Andrew is doing. And I cannot wait until, um, you know, he gets to announce uh, what it is he's working on. And also uh, a lot of big things happening. A lot lot of big things happening. Um, Everybody, uh, please go tune in to Ebony K. Williams podcast, Holding Court with her and Dustin Ross. The new episode dropped this week on the Black Effect uh, podcast network on iHeartRadio. This week they're talking about black men and how black men are the new Swing voters in America. Okay. Um, also, okay. check out Tesla Figaro. Straight Shot No Chaser. Her new podcast is out this week. Um, <laughs> Gangster Chronicles dropped this week. Uh, Nina Turner and all the smoke. So just, you know, go to the iHeartRadio app, uh, type in Black Effect, and, you know, everything that's on the Black Effect Podcast Network will come up. Um, all right. Wherever, you're, wherever, you, wherever you download podcasts, wherever you subscribe to podcasts, you know, all Black Effect podcasts are available. <laughs> Misinformation. Um, if anything that this period shows us that we've gone through, um, it's that we all have to get smarter. And by smarter, I mean doing your own research. And research is not what is given to you via social media because it's just little simple things we should not be getting wrong. Going back to what I talked about earlier when I said that, you know, if the election happens on a November 3rd and votes Uh start getting counted that night and people start saying dumb shit like, oh, (laughs) this person is up by this. But then the next day they're not. That is that's really stupid because all people are doing is counting votes. So that shouldn't even be something that you're spreading online. Like, that's just stupid to me. So I just want everybody to get smarter. Like, this is what this era is. This this new that's another thing. This new administration is going to enable a lot of us to do. It's just get smarter because I don't I mean, even though it's going to be a lot of people out there still spreading a lot of misinformation. We don't have to worry about that from the 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 leaders of our society. Yeah, because it's one thing when it's just a stupid motherfucker on Facebook saying some shit, but it's another one. It's the president. Yeah, I'm saying people be doing that. Anything that it is is like the it could be a lie. But if it's leaning towards the Cowboys winning, I'm going to go ahead and spread that lie real quick. Like, oh, the Cowboys up. I know they fucking not up, but I'm just going to spread that lie. And that's exactly what people are doing right now with this shit. Yeah, it's hard to lie with stuff like that, though. The Cowboys, we suck. And and, and the record shows. You know what I mean? But that's the the, the Trump losing. That's the Cowboys right now. A lot has happened in 2020. Let's do um, things we won't care about next week. Well, I already said um, Gail King's feet are losing six pounds. She did a soup diet. Congratulations. congratulations. Okay. Yes. Please send that to Wax. Please send I did Wax. Send you the, I you sent him the, the soup diet? No, oh. no, 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 no. Yeah, I, I want to I I wanna see what she uh, what she used because, you know, my, right after this pregnancy, as soon as she loses a baby, now we both going to lose some more weight. So, like I said, I only so fluctuate from 254. You do look pregnant, though, Wax. I ain't see this part. I was looking at this nah, screen. Now that I'm bro. looking at this screen, you even Come got a pregnant on, nose. Mm-mm. You do. Your nose, <laughs> like shit, your nose even it. swollen up like a pregnant woman. Am I lying? It ain't, ain't spreading. You bug it. Knock, knock it off it, right? behind her. <laughs> you can exactly. ask her anything. You ask her, do I look like a hippo? She gonna say yes. Don't it's ask her you. shit. Let me see, bud. Get up, Diddy. <laughs> take that, take that. What else? What right. things we won't um, care about next week? 
Rest in peace to the baby's brother. Rest in peace to the baby's brother, yeah. man. Yeah, rest um, in peace, brother. Yeah, suicide is tough, man. Suicide is tough because, mm -hmm. you know, this has been a rough year Ouch. for a lot of people. And I, like, you know, I, yes. we, we had two partners that we lost to suicide mm -hmm. this year. My, my, my family. Ja Jasmine Waters, Jazz Fly, and, you know, <laughs> our guy Shaq Shaquille, you know, from Anguilla. Yeah, man. Uh, Ouch. Deaths don't phase me at all. Watching my family suffer does. God watch over my family, my mama, my nieces, and nephew. And they mama, my brother, don't worry about me. Take whatever you you was do for me and pour it into them. I would tell the Praise good the brother, staff. the baby. I would tell my Carolina brother, it's okay to feel. Um, numbing yourself. Numbing yourself to that isn't going to do anything but make it worse in the long run. Because I used to be like that. I used to be like, oh, I don't give a fuck about death. Yeah, me too. And I mean, you know, death is something that we all have to accept. Right, because yeah. it's not like you can bring the person back, but you have to feel your feels. Like I promise you, if if he it's just a mold you don't want to get into, though, bro. You said what? It's a mold you don't want to get into, man. Like yeah, grieving you, is like, I, yeah, I, I, to, how though. long? I, I know you got to release it, but it's like really hard, man. Two thousand twenty was hard for me too. It's like, like if you grieve, how long would you grieve, and when can you pull it back? You I don't think there's no there's, like, there's no time period on it. You can grieve for as, as ever long as you want to. They say time heals all wounds. Yeah. I don't believe that. I think time no. might make the pain easier to deal with. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you don't know what can. Not true. What you mean? I know plenty of people still dealing with pain that happened ten years ago. That's what you say. Yeah, saying. but but I'm saying like <clears throat> as I said, I don't think it heals all wounds. I just think it makes it easier to deal with. But you don't know what can trigger mm -hmm. it. Like it might be you might ride by a restaurant you and this person used to go or to. a song, a yeah. song. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, you might, especially in this era of social media, when you a Facebook memory will pop up or. Uh, uh, you know I what I mean? That, man. People be doing this, be like, and I don't know if they be like, oh, remembrance of, and I'm like, yo, this is my real family. I don't want to see this hit me during the middle of the day. You know what I'm nah, saying? Man. Like, nah. it's kind of wild, but hey, you got to let everybody grieve the way they want to. A lot of people put pictures out there for remembrance. Absolutely. I ain't that type of guy. I try to stay out the way and keep my day going. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to keep doing that. Yeah, I, you know, and you know, and I'm, I'm not diagnosing nobody, but it's just like when the baby first got on, he was popping, and then his father passed. And like, you know, that's that's your dream, right? Because you just got on. So you just keep working. You just keep working. You just keep working. And, yeah. yo, that might have led to a lot of the aggression. You know what I'm saying? When you, you know, when he quick to put hands on somebody or whatever, just because you got a lot of shit inside of you that you haven't haven't dealt with. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, respect. when I respect. saw him put that tweet out today and, you know, he, he was like, you know, I, I can deal with pain. I don't know, man. Nothing, uh, numbing yourself to the pain or... or, or Ignoring the pain, man, that's tough, bro. Because that yeah, shit, God, I promise God, you, that shit, will, that, that shit will hit you at the worst time. Yeah. yeah, but God, God put you through a lot of things in your life to prepare you for these days. Absolutely. That's why you go through the trials and tribulations from back in the day and the things you go through for these days and prepared you for it. It don't make it so, no easier to deal with, though. Not nah, respect. It's more, of course especially not. Especially when it comes to suicide, because when it comes to suicide, you be thinking about all the things you feel like you could have did or <sighs> said. Ouch. You know, to keep that person from doing that. You what was what our mean? last conversation? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And then, you know, mm. like, it's, it's so interesting. Even when I talk about my, my my two partners, our two partners that we lost this year. Peace. Um, I, I didn't see that coming at all from Shaq. <laughs> not even a little no bit. No way. I, yo, I promise you, not even two days ago, I said it again. I told my shorty, because I'm looking at just scrolling down. And I'm like, I seen a conversation with us and I looked at one of our videos and I said, yo, I don't see it still ain't it's still ain't registering to me. Yeah. Certain people I probably hear and I'd be like, I, you know, like I, I get it. Or I know this person was going through something. This right here. I ain't even see it. It was too far for me to see, man. And when I hit you, it's, when I, I remember when that happened, I hit you. You said you had talked to him two days prior. <clears throat> literally. And you say I was on the phone for a long time. Long time, man. I still got the WhatsApp, man. The thing is, like, yo, me and Shaq talking about just growing and, and, and wanting to do better and stuff. I'm like, yo, I ain't hear no shakiness in his voice. Like, I, I've been around a lot of guys who, who did certain things or even did people stutter when they're about to do dirt, about yeah, to hit yeah, somebody yeah. up, not even that. So I ain't hear nothing, bro. Yeah. You know and, what I'm saying? And, and I, I spoke to him. Whatever day you spoke to him, I spoke to him that weekend because I remember it was a Friday because I was hitting him about Angola's upcoming election. Same mm -hmm. thing. We was just in regular Peace. conversation, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, I didn't see that one coming at all. And then with 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 uh jazz, it's like, yo, I know um 
I know jazz, like jazz always dealt with anxiety and depression. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's one of the things that even bonded us early on. Even before I started talking about my my issues with anxiety publicly, I used to talk to her about it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, peace. You know, situations like that, even though it, it don't it don't um it don't soften the blow. Mm-hmm. You just no, can wrap not. your mind around a little bit more, a little bit more. Like you know, damn, yeah, it's just like you know, whatever she was going through got the best of her. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, got her. But you know what I'm saying, but praying for the family, praying for strength, man. Absolutely, please, yo. absolutely. So I, hope I like I would tell the baby, don't beat yourself up too much, um, but but allow yourself to feel. You know what I'm saying? Like like allow yourself to feel, allow yourself to get that shit out. And express that shit. Because a lot of times, man, people commit suicide because they feel like they don't have no outlet. They don't have no place to express their emotions. You know what I mean? They feel like they're being yeah. a bother to people. And they feel like, I'd rather leave this earth than, you know, carry all of this baggage and have everybody else carrying this baggage. You know what I mean? Ouch, so ouch, everybody, man. don't be afraid to feel your feels. And uh, I got I to gotta, I gotta give y'all the suicide prevention lifeline. 1-800-273-TALK. 1-800-273-8255. If you just need somebody to talk to, man, if you need somebody to get some shit off your chest, man, don't hold on to that shit at fucking all. Not even a little bit. We can take sale. What what else we got, Taylor? Shit we won't care about next week, even though we will care about this. This That could have actually been a little slight deep dive. Cardi B what? Uh, Cardi B files to officially call off divorce. City boys, we up, yeah, baby! Good job, good job. We oh up, my city gosh. boys. She just wanted this to scam, amazing. man. Yeah, he's like she's supposed to. That's all. Mad a girl gonna either pull a gun on you, or a motherfucking threaten to divorce you and leave you yeah. when she's trying to put the fear of God in you. That's, That's it. All, I get you know it. how it's putting us back in line. And you and, 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 about. and I guarantee you, offset, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Offset ain't playing that. She's like, yo, she really filed divorce papers on me. It's like when that girl pull that gun on you. You'll be scared, but if she fired that shit at you, not trying to hit you, but just pow, you're like, oh shit. And then yeah, I'm- it's definitely a difference. It's definitely a difference. Like my shorty put me on the couch, that's different than throwing the clothes outside. You know what I'm saying? If yes. I'm on the couch, I'm like, I still gotta weigh in. But yes. if she put the clothes outside, yes. that's shooting a gun. And listen, like, I'm, oh shit. I'm a old I'm old school. So I come from the era of hearing about, you know, my uncles and shit getting hot grits thrown on them. <laughs> you know what I mean for real that's, no, that's the, real shit you gotta put the fear sometimes women put the fear of God in you in a different way yo that hot bitch treating you up pulling guns on you whatever it is I know all that shit sound violent because it is but it yo is. man when a woman is heartbroken and a woman is scorned and you done pushed the woman to the limit she gonna Get show out, out on your way, ass man. ain't nothing you could do I just say run man well, I be happy when I'm on the couch I'm like alright that's all I get is the couch alright I take that speaking of scorn women Nicole Young is reportedly trying to get three of Dr. Dre's alleged mistresses to testify. That's Corny. so wrong. <laughs> Corny. What, does, what, 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 what does the three mistresses have to do with anything? I don't know. She actually tries to get their prenup overturned. That's just foul. <laughs> like, I, 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 don't, I don't understand the point of it. Like, why would you bring three mistresses to court to say what? And in California, it don't even matter. In yeah, California, I, 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 and the only reason I found out is because of Ebony's podcast, Holding Court. Like, it's some type Peace. of law in California. I forgot what it's called, but stuff like that don't matter. Like, you, it, like if you cheat on your wife, that's not, like, grounds for divorce or some shit yeah. like that. I, I'm work probably it saying it all wrong. Huh? Yeah, they got to work it out. But if she cheated on you, you got to get a divorce. <laughs> Shut up. I'm um, not telling the truth. No, I'm telling not. the truth. No, I would. Yes. I, at this point, I would. At this point, it's different. Like when you man, it's different. You can't do that. No you don't man. Think women are horny or nothing like that. Like you don't think. Like no, guys, like, oh, but y'all got y'all got mad toys. Men ain't got all the mad toys. Y'all got a y'all thousand can't toys. Have toys. What are you talking about? Y'all got a thousand <laughs> toys. Men got that fucking doll. This goes back to the conversation Reason had on Breakfast Club, where Reason was saying, um, oh, yeah. you know, no. men should get credit for being faithful. Amen. And they shouldn't. Why are you saying facts? If you agree with someone okay, in a relationship, he said that. Why do you keep using yes. that slur? What? What are you saying? <laughs> what slur am I saying? You saying is what she said a gay slur just now? <laughs> what were you saying? About? I said it. Oh, facts. All right. <laughs> you got to enunciate. Easy, easy, I was like, God easy. damn. I thought you, I'm like, you easy. that upset that men think we should get credit oh for not God. cheating? Lord have mercy. Right. Jesus Christ. But no, I understand what Reason was saying. Why? He was saying, it's not he was about saying. a woman giving you credit. I give myself credit That's for great. not cheating. You should. And, but but, but women do give men credit. 
Because women will say things like, I'm so glad you got your shit together. You Amen. know what I'm saying? That could not just mean about cheating, though. It usually does. No? Yes. What else does it mean? And women, and women like, should say that more to your man. I take care of you. You got your own money. No. Nope. Okay, like let's that. say the man's stable. Nah. Then the man got a job. Um, mm -hmm. He don't put hands on you. He's a mm -hmm. good guy, but he just was out there fucking a bunch of chicks. So what does that mean then? When you say, I'm glad you got your shit together. But that could be for a female, too. Female cheat, too. You're just a whore. That's corny, though. See, why? It shouldn't be the devil standing like that. It is, though. It should be, but it is. But this is the thing, though. We shouldn't give you credit like that because you guys, how I look at it, you agreed to be in this relationship, right? So I, you should know the rules of not walking out of it. What about my dick? What about her pussy? <laughs> is that, what if your what if the dick's not hitting right and you do want another dick? Pussies have, like, more, control. Pussies pussies have more control. Pussies have more control than dicks do. I don't think pussies take over women's brains. Okay. Would you My tell dad. your daughter that? I know some. Huh? I know some women. Then. Would, would she tell her daughter that? I don't got no daughter. I'm just saying. Would you? You, you would tell your niece that? that you, listen, you won't tell your niece that. You would tell your niece she better be with one guy and, and slow down and no, be first easy. No, I'm gonna tell her to leave these niggas alone. I'm not gonna I, so, encourage her to. You want to be a lesbian? I, I, no, then, but what? I'm not gonna encourage her to like. Oh, go find your love. I'm not gonna put that in there. I want to be. No, a yeah, you know that. But I, so that's what you're doing to these other girls. Don't do that to them because they got fathers and they got nieces. I mean, they got uncles and stuff like that. They don't want to hear that shit. I'm gonna tell her also to live her life as well. Be protected. Be safe. But I'm not going to yeah. tell her, like, oh, just stick with one person. Well, she should, whatever. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. No, tell but I'm right saying thing. when she's getting older and everything, like, I'm not going to tell her, like, to find a man right away. Listen, I don't care what y'all say. I'm giving myself credit for not cheating. Okay? Me give too. Give credit. Same you should. Way, when, that's how you work. When yes. Wax lose 20 pounds, he going to give himself credit for losing that 20. <laughs> so being that I haven't cheated. But you cheated, know what? Yo, real shit. You know how I many people be in my DMs and stuff like that and be like, yo, I see the growth. You know what that means? I see you not cheating. That's all they say. That's saying. all it means. I don't believe you, though. Come on, don't do me. How like long that, you and been together? <laughs> <laughs> how, how long you and Carlos been together? I don't believe it. I need more time. I, 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 I gotta see more time. I need a I need a bigger sample size. A year, it ain't showing me nothing. What you mean? You ain't showing me. I don't even think it's been a year. It's been a year. Yeah. Yeah, what you mean? It's been over. It's about you know to be two why? years in June. You met Carla last her. year at the AC3 festival, right? In Atlanta. Mm. No, but no, that was that was two so years quiet. ago. That, that was wasn't two, no two years yes, ago. Yes, that was. What are you talking about? No, it wasn't, I man. Ain't dealing with car we man, were at the AC3 Festival last year. No way. That was last that was two year. Years ago. That was two years ago. I remember no that. Way, that was two man. years ago. I'm going to look up the picture. No I'm way. I'm telling you. I'm going to see you right now. It's no uh, way. I'm I telling you that. that was two years ago. I don't believe that. But you know, I'm going to tell you when it was. Two years ago, it's been a year. I, I'm yo, last right June, now. last June's when we got together, bro. May I'm telling you. 29th. May 29th of what year? 18. Bro, that was 2019. I'm looking at it right now. When? No, it was not, man. I'm telling you right now, bro. Hold on. Paige got the um, receipts. It, it was me, T.I., Shaka Sincor at the AOC. For, that was last year, bro. No way. Yes, October 2019. Yes, it was. I'm looking at it. It's right now on YouTube. Octo October 21st, 2000. I don't know. It was around October something. It was October 19th, 20th. Y'all ain't been together a year. No, now it's been a year. Yeah. And y'all haven't even been officially about? together. He oh. was sneaking seeing her. What are you talking about? You know how long yes, I've been dealing with her? For real? That's what I'm telling Wait, her. Wait, That's what I'm telling her. You met Friday. her in Atlanta last year at the AC3 Festival. I remember in October Verbal. last year. October, are you serious? 2019. Yes. And that's, that's not what and I, I was dropping her. you what off in the Bronx. About? I was dropping you off in the Bronx. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck you fucking in the Bronx? I'm like, what the fuck are you doing this? It's been, it's been since June. You see what I'm saying? It's been since June. How when you met her in October? I, I did not meet her in October, So you bro. met her before that? I've been met her. What are you talking about? You I, met her her, I met her behind the stage of A Horrible Decisions uh, a live show. Oh, okay. All right. That's Mandy's. That's Mandy's friend, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. you already know all this. I don't even know why you're no, I, like I, 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 I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. What happened? Somebody said something crazy? Yeah. 
I didn't know. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh he God. wearing them shades so he can act blind. He like, <laughs> 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 you see him wearing the <laughs> 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 no, What you talking about? Oh but I'm serious. I need. I gotta. I gotta see. I gotta see. I gotta see wax. I gotta see wax not cheat for like four years, yo. Yeah, me too. I ain't cheating four years. I feel like that. Too. Man, listen, listen. And listen I'm so 16. proud of myself. Listen, every single day is another day. And I think myself every single day, I, I, have, I don't do anything. So I don't think I'm going back. I don't want to ever start back over again. That's whack. Yeah, it's, 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 it's literally, I'm not even joking. It's literally like when you start like eating right, you don't want to go back to the bullshit. Like, cause when you eat, yeah. when you eat the sugar and shit, now nah, the shit make you feel fucked up. Like you don't even want to go backwards. I feel more emotionally and mentally sure healthy don't. and spiritually healthy than I ever have. I'm good. I'm like putting I'm all happy. my energy right here in one spot. Look how much, I, look how I was putting all my energy in all over the place, man. Come on, man. Right, yeah, we see right, <laughs> right around here. <laughs> right around that midsection. It's a lot of goddamn energy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's so crazy. My shit right too. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna help y'all out. But men, men, <laughs> men, men, men should you should give yourself credit because you know what I'm it is. I'm not saying yes. you shouldn't give yourself credit. Good job. I'm just saying, like, I don't think it's up to the women to get, like, because that's what we expect from y'all. And, and the woman don't no. know anyway, because the woman don't know what the woman don't know where we were. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, like, she yeah. don't know where we were in our lives. Like, she thinks Mentally she knows. But well, she don't have yeah. no idea. You have no idea. So when you man, know Jesus. what kind of whore you used to be. Yeah. Once you get right and you like, man, I'm good. It's a whole different ball game. And yeah, I, I ain't mad. I hear it every day, and I appreciate exactly. every <laughs> single day. I hear, wow, wax, this is you. Wow, wax, I can't believe this. I hear it every day, and I'm supposed to get it every day because that's how bad I was. Yeah, that's how bad you were. That's how bad you were. And and it's also too, know, it's leading with ego. Men feed their ego. The only time you out here sleeping around with a bunch of different women is because you're trying to feed your ego. And it's like not, not you, on my you, case though. My case what? was that I just yes, I was, was doing it for favors. Likes. I was doing it for favors. What you mean? How you gonna tell me? I didn't give a fuck about this favors. shit. I wasn't I wasn't going after them. And you know that. You know I never went after the woman ever. That favor, That's not hey, true. I'm gonna tell you something though. That favor body gone right now. You got <laughs> that, 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 that favor body hey. gone. The body you got now, you owe her. Okay. <laughs> need a change, nigga. I need that. It's good though. I'm not like I, 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 I understood what reason was trying to say, and I do agree. Like, yo, give yourself some credit, guys. Sometimes we gotta pat ourselves on the back. Women pat themselves on the back all the time. Pat yourself on the back if you've been a good mm -hmm. man. Word is born. So just for I've been holding it like down. What, just said. what do you mean? If it's if you're dating guy that's already a good guy, he don't have to necessarily give himself. First of all, black men don't cheat, but uh, in, in in the case that we are seduced. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Oh, we do someone a favor, as wife said. Drugged. Okay. Mm -hmm. You should give yourself some grace if you used to live that way and you don't live that way anymore. That's all I'm so saying. So I have a question. Yes. Then. What about with girls? They should give themselves pat on the back because no, no, no. Listen to this because they have probably, and especially if it's a good looking girl and everything else, they have guys in the past that still hit her up. Y'all don't be one dick like that. Yeah, man. If y'all do, we don't want y'all. So you be one other no dick like that, Taylor? No. Don't try to get me in trouble. I'm asking a I'm question. There we go. There we I'm go. I'm just saying. What are you saying? There's options. You really want to be ran oh. through like that? You want? Wow. I hope your boyfriend hears this. There's options, Mr. Hayes. Hey. Okay. I hope not, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hayes. All right. Talking this to my brother. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to your husband. Your alleged husband. Yeah, it's supposed, I supposed to be. I wouldn't have my last husband. name. Thank you. I think women are nice. better than men. Wow. wow. Yeah, I don't think women have those. I don't think. Do, I'm not I'm saying y'all don't, don't have you, desires, exactly. but I don't think it's like men. Y'all stronger and everything. That's Mentally, not true, come on. Though. Don't stoop to our level. We Stop have it. multiple orgasms, okay? You don't think. All right, so why y'all being selfish right away? When Michelle Easy. Obama said, when they go low, we go high, you know who they were? Men. <laughs> you know who we were? Women. Okay? So when we go low and we're out here doing things we ain't got no business doing, Go high. Okay. Yeah, don't suck Lead dick. Example. Stay, stay high. Yes, you know what? I'm learning from y'all. I learn from y'all. Yeah, for that real. Nice How are we supposed to get better? We both doing bad. Exactly. Somebody got to do good. Come on. Man. Alex, shut up. You like white girls. <laughs> 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 
Excuse me? <laughs> shut, shut up, you like white girls. Who she talking to? <laughs> That's because I don't want to cheat on black ones. That's, exactly that. oh, That's a good point. It. You should know your weaknesses. He said he ain't ready. That's a good thing. You should know your weaknesses. He you should know your limitations. Ready. He don't want to do the queens dirty. Mm. I hate you. You wouldn't give a fuck mm. if he was cheating on white women. I like that, bro. I like that. I don't think you should cheat on women, period. I don't care about the race. You don't believe that. Mm. I don't. Okay. I don't. I you don't believe that. All right. Anyways. So if Alex cheated with a black girl, if Alex had a I white girl more friend. Upset, yes. If he had no, if Alex had a white girl, he cheated with a black girl. Oh. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> <You see? Yeah. laughs> Double standards. <laughs> okay, what else? Um things we won't care about next week. Patrick Carl well. Lentz, fire from Hillsong Church. That's my guy, man. I, I, my I, I, guy, he texted bro. me yesterday. That's my guy. Due I don't to moral failures. I, I don't like that. I don't like that because <laughs> yeah, you the church. Up. The fuck you mean moral failures? Like if a man has a moral failure, you don't fire him? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You pray yeah, for him. Ouch. And, and, you, you, and, and, and you, you let him give himself at the altar. You know what I mean? You give him a Hell chance man. to redeem himself and, and, and forgiveness. Go, like, who are you to fire him? I'm Everybody tired of him. Who fired him? Like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like the... I ain't never heard no shit like that. Why? You ever heard some shit like that? Am I getting fired from man, the church? Hell no, man. You, oh, you already know all the pastors always got something with them. Like, I never seen nobody perfect ever. Exactly. So you do fire Nobody's him? Like, what does that even mean? And then put out a press release about it? Ouch. The humiliation, man. But listen, humiliation right before honor. That's what the words say. So be looking out for a big blessing for Pastor Carl. He going he gonna to win off this. Yeah, Tell I him to go through it with grace. Oh. He's going to be okay. Go through it with grace. Like I said, I don't know what. It was the global senior pastor, Brian Houston. Brian's my guy. Brian is the pastor that I had pray for Takashi 6 ix 9 Peace. So uh -huh. I know Brian. You know what I'm saying? We've had Brian on Breakfast right. Club. Brian, Brian is a is a is a good man. You know what I mean? But I don't agree. Just like I don't agree in the Kingdom Hall when they just fellowship people. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't think that you should shun people and push them out. It's a place out. of healing, You're man. To bring it's a place them of in. Yeah, man. Yeah. Bring them in. You know, Church is a hospital, failure. man. Church is a hospital. Like I don't understand what I did. I, I've I've had a million moral failures in my life. <laughs> Shit. And I, I pray God too. don't ever say you're fired Ooh, for having moral failures. Like what? Do we I knew I wouldn't have made it this far. Come on, man! It was I don't know what Pastor Carl did. I might find Maybe. out and be like, you know what? I get it. Okay, <sighs> but even still, for the church to do that, I don't agree with that, man. I don't agree with nah. that. I think that hold your man down, hold, man. You, hold him really down, man. Uh, uh, give him some type of discipline or whatever. But to Respect. say you're fired in press releases and all that moral failures, like who the fuck are these people to say what is a moral failure? Unless it's something crazy that they know going to come out in the press and they, they jump before it. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I can't see them going ahead and doing that to their guy. Well, it can't and, be. That. I'll, I'll tell you why it can't be that crazy. Because if it is something like extremely crazy, like crazy, crazy, mm -hmm. they're going to catch heat for just calling it a moral failure. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's something Respect. wild, like something like just like, like, whoa, what the fuck? You'd be like, oh, that's that's y'all just chopped that up as a moral failure. So it's probably yeah. probably something Silly. Maybe he got Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it probably. I'm he sure he's not jerking crazy. off in the church or something. <laughs> Come on, why wax you definitely use... jerked off in the church before. <laughs> no, wax, I didn't. Wax is a no, pastor's kid. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I, I probably did cur um, kissed and stuff inside the church and stuff like that. You told but me you had sex in the it. church. No, the church bus. That was mad long ago. I can't even believe I even said that. <laughs> you had sex in the church bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> It is the same thing. That's crazy. Was people on the bus? It was just y'all two. I don't know, man. It's mad long ago. What else we My mama listens to this podcast. I don't want her to know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what this is about. What else, Taylor? Um, Salute to Pastor Carl, though, man. You know what yeah, I mean? Respect I, I, you, yeah, respect you, I'm praying for you, even if your church ain't. Word is born, I am. Straight you know up. that. Um, I'm a sinner, my brother. And then praying. lastly, I guess, Tory Lanez, his quarantine radar got shut down. <laughs> yeah, Instagram ain't playing. Instagram shut Lil Duval down too. I don't know why. They did. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, when? they're not. They, they they're not playing. All right, let's pay some bills. Let's talk about DoorDash. Okay. Um. So listen, man. I want y'all to continue supporting restaurants in your community safely. They need us now more than ever. There are thousands of restaurants open for delivery on DoorDash. They need your money. 
Okay, they need you to support. Support your favorite restaurants on DoorDash. DoorDash is the app that brings you food you're craving right now, right to your door. Ordering is easy, okay? Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want to eat, and your food will be left safely outside your door with the new contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your local go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, and the Cheesecake Factory, okay? Many of your favorite local restaurants are still open for delivery. Just open the DoorDash app. Select your favorite local restaurant and your food will be left at your door. DoorDash deliveries are nice. now contactless to keep communities we operate in safe. Right now, our listeners can get $5 off their first order of $15 or more and zero delivery fees for their first month when you download the DoorDash app and enter code IDIOTS. That's $5 off your first order and zero delivery fees for a month when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code IDIOTS. Don't forget, that's code IDIOTS for $5 off your first order with DoorDash. And I got to salute Kevin Durant. Uh, Kevin Durant has jumped into the podcast game, people. Okay, okay. Uh, his new podcast is called the ETCs. Okay, okay? Uh, when when I heard Kevin Durant was launching a podcast in his first episode with Kyrie Irving, I was very interested. Okay, uh, Kevin Durant's new podcast is a deep dive into the stories and the people who are moving sports, entertainment, and culture itself forward. Um, you've likely Heard Kevin Durant on other podcasts. I, I, I've heard him on The Ringer a lot with Bill Simmons and through interviews, but I don't think you've ever heard KD like this, okay? And, and it's good because I feel like he's controlling his narrative. Kevin is a person who doesn't seem like he likes to do a lot of interviews. He likes to, you know, talk where he's comfortable. <clears throat> so it's dope that he has his own podcast. And I think you'll feel like you're a part of the conversation, you know, if you listen to Kevin Durant's podcast, okay? Alongside his co-host, Eddie Gonzalez, and joined by special guests like Kyrie Irving, um, legendary Drake producer, 40. Uh, each episode features wide-ranging conversations around topics on KD's mind, including sports, fashion, entertainment, music, business, and so on. The ETC takes you inside the mind of one of the best NBA players of all time. Um, I can't recommend the ETC enough, okay? I wish it was on the Black Effect Podcast Network. Amazing and insightful conversations with one of the best athletes, best NBA players of all time. Subscribe and listen today for free on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Radio.com, or wherever you get your shows, okay? So I guess um, cut to it and all the smoke will have some some competition in the sports categories, okay? Uh, salute to my man Steve Smith Sr. and Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson. Now, <laughs> let's get back to the show. Let's get to Ask an Idiot because I got to go take my daughter to practice. <clears throat> um, since Rax is on, Alejandro underscore 22A wants to know, when did Charla <clears throat> know what, what, sorry, when did Charla know Wax was a homie? Oh, that was like day one, really. Like yeah, literally first, literally. first day I met him. I met him, um, uh, our, our guy, Louis, Louis used to, Louis is from Rawway. And so mm -hmm. my older cousin, my older cousin know Louis, uh, my cousin Keyshawn. Call him Shaolin. And uh, he told me to go check Louie because Louie was in Columbia. So when I went to go mm -hmm. pull up on Louie, uh, Wax and all, I think all of y'all used to live together, right? Yeah, but he's still upstairs with us, yo. Yeah, Wax, Powder, and Louie. Wait, so all y'all, hold on, hold on. What's the real names? Like, what's Powder's real name? Powder. Powder. Oh, Lord Jesus. Powder. Dre. <laughs> Powder, Dre, yeah. But, um... Yeah, from I mean, literally from day one, like that was yeah, just a literally. thing. Like I don't know, just one of them things. Like and that was that was what two thousand. Just click, yeah, click early. Yeah, well, that was like oh one, two thousand one. Literally, wow. yeah, that was two thousand one. Literally, each other for twenty years. Twenty years. Or did twenty years. Same yeah. twenty years. Yeah, it's literally the exact same thing, exact same way. Same thing. Like literally, yeah, like all the shit me. that you see us doing now, we was doing. 20 years ago. Been lying on me. He been lying on me for years ago. <laughs> nope. I always tell the truth. I've never lied nope. on Wax. Come on, man. Anything you've ever heard me say is They've absolute been the truth. I'm asking actually about. Listen, what about, and... what about a bump? You remember that? The bump? What bump I'm talking about? The you bump? Lied. That herpes bump you had in Myrtle Beach that time. <laughs> no, I ain't talking about that one. You said what the what? I'm not talking <laughs> about that. The bump? You said the bump? What did you say? The bump? <laughs> Never mind. I ain't, I ain't, never mind. I ain't talking about that. Never no, mind. he got this big ass herpes bump on his. No, lip. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about like we we. Now I want to talk about the herpes bump. We was in Myrtle <laughs> Beach, right? We was in Myrtle Beach, and he had this bump on his lip that was so big. So he tried to bust it before we left. 
So he's squeezing the shit, squeezing the shit. He took a lighter to it, like stupid shit. So the shit looked really wild on his face, right? But nobody mm-hmm. wanna say nothing to wax because it's wax, right? So I'm cracking <laughs> mad jokes, motherfuckers smoking blunts. I'm like, I bet none of y'all passes the wax. Nobody say shit. Motherfuckers trembling with the blunt. Like, you still right? Passing it the wax. Wax take a couple hits, try to pass it back. Nah, nah, you good. You know? ah! <laughs> so, we in Myrtle Beach. So wax go all the way around. He fucking all of these different girls. He fucked like three girls, right? And they didn't care. Ah, man, back in the day. Fuck like three girls. He don't kiss no way. Were they blind though? Nah, they saw it. Nah, he nah because if he saw the bum. I don't know what he told him was going on. It wasn't that big. It wasn't that crazy. That shit it was big as hell. Was, if you was in my face, yeah. No. And, I, and listen, I shouldn't try to pop it. Everybody went through that in their fucking life. Everybody tried to fucking pop a pimple, and you know that shit was fucked up. That was up. a cold saw, man. He tried to fucking <laughs> pop. That nigga fried a cold saw. He took that lighter and put that lighter to that coach. I heard the shit sizzle. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, man. And then when no, that, that, that's when I tried to dry my clothes. That's the same day I tried to dry my clothes. <laughs> Oh, that shit was funny as hell. He tried to watch. We, we, we left from Myrtle Beach. He washed his clothes, right? But didn't dry them all the way. So he got in the car. My pops in the front seat. My pops go, you been working out? You been working out, Wax? Why you smell like that? <laughs> and he drove all the way to Myrtle Beach. Oh, clothes shit. stink. Bump. Stinking, still fucked stinking, three girls. Bro. Wow. I think he wore his wild, helmet a lot, man. though. <laughs> that was funny too because he punched Louis in the chest. He punched Louis in the chest. <laughs> Louis start killing him. Louis start killing him by the bump. Louis was like, "Your bump been doing pull ups. Your bump need a wife beater." <laughs> yeah. Bump, yeah, bump. I told. Yeah, I was mad and said like, "Bro, you don't do that shit in front of the fucking man, girls." You know, we get on the we elevator. Get, we get always do that shit in front of each other, man. But when girls is around, bro, I ain't got time to be cracking on me. Man, we get in that <laughs> elevator and the girls are trying to hold they laughing, but he Louis said something and them girls just bust out laughing. Wax just hit him. Boom! And Louis, Louis was holding a cup like this, a cup full of liquor. When he hit Louis in the chest, all the liquor flew out the cup and then just landed right back in the cup. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Louis trying to get in the car with us and Wax kicking Louis. Now you ain't getting in with us. Get the fuck out. <laughs> this is before Uber. So I don't know how Louis man, got there. Thank, thank God we grew up, man. Is, Jesus, Lord, man. Nah, it wasn't no taxis. No, but, hell no. It wasn't none of that back nah, then, man. You ain't had no bike or nobody with you. You asked you out. You asked out. Wait, I, I have a question. Mm-hmm. So Wax told a story on Bully and the Beast about it was him a in Milwaukee and said that he smoked with a ghost. And he said no, that, that was true. It's real shit, That bro. was true. That Told hotel him. was haunted as a motherfucker. <laughs> that was true. And that mm-hmm. and the crazy part is... No, the crazy part is Real I didn't shit, even yeah. hear about none of this till the next morning. When I started talking to him, I'm like, yo. I said, man, I saw some wild shit last night. Because I was laying in the bed and I saw a shadow of a person <laughs> with a gun looking like they was aiming at another person. And like I could mm-hmm. see the person fall, and I'm sitting there like under the covers, like man, God, please hurry up for daytime. I turned the TV me. on, like I, tu- I turned <laughs> for real. I turned the TV on, like yo, man, what the fuck? And then the next morning, um, I don't know if it was the lady at the front desk. Yeah, that's the way we asked her because of the, asking the lady's name, the girl name that was dead. Remember, I told you I had a girl in my room. I said you was like, ain't no girl was in your room. I said the girl was sitting on my bed. And you and Eve said that y'all came in the room and never seen the girl. And I was like, the girl was showing me your room. The doors opening, the uh, uh, the the light switch going off yeah. and on. Yeah, and I was like, yo, she she told me somebody died in your room. And they, they, they said that that same girl they said I was talking to, she was killed a year, right that same day a year. That's and crazy. And I was talking to her, smoking weed with her in the room. And when I, when I was talking to the ladies at the front desk and I was telling them what happened, but I just told them I saw some strange shit last night. And they knew what floor and stuff we was on and what room we was in. And so mm-hmm. she was like, she was like, um, yeah, somebody got killed in that room. Somebody got shot. Yeah, somebody and got killed in that and room. And I'm like, yeah. what? And I told them what I saw. That shit was wild. So the guy that shot the girl, the guy was in your room. Why would the girl be in Wax's room? No, she was the lady that got killed. And Wax said that she took out a phone and was like, uh, told the drawers to open or something. The drawers is opening and the light switch is going off and on. I'm telling you. I think Wax texted me to talk about, yo, be easy or some shit like that. And I thought, you know, I thought he was just fucking with me. You know what I mean? Like, (laughs) No, I was like, yo, somebody got killed in the room. The girl told me, and then they was telling me that no girl was in my room. And I'm like, yo, I smoke with a fucking ghost, bro. Milwaukee. That's the same girl. I love Milwaukee. 
Them women was trying to sleep with us so crazy in Milwaukee. They was knocking on our yeah, own doors. I didn't literally do run. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. All right, I was see. always good in Milwaukee. <laughs> okay. Good uh, as in behaving myself. Me too. Unless I flew something in, but that's a whole different story. You used to fly people. In. I used to do stuff. Like, I used to fly them into random cities because that's like you know, flying into Miami. That's cheating. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's cheating. That's flying into a like a city that like people love to go to. And I I love Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? Where did you get these this from? No, for real, that's cheating. If you fly into Miami, that's cheating. L.A., like you cheating. cheating. You know, you got to fly. Cheating. Yeah, that's climb cheating. into Milwaukee. So it's not cheating. Boston. In Milwaukee. Nah. Yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> freezing in the cold. Yeah. yeah. Bring them into Milwaukee, Boston, stuff like that. You, you good? Yeah. Three hour time difference for L.A. It's not right. cheating after. After nine o'clock LA time, when it's midnight East Coast time, it's not cheating. <laughs> Those hours don't even exist. I like that one. That's I my old school that, way of thinking, but that's how I used to think when yeah, I was. Yeah, I ain't saying that, baby. I ain't saying that right when now. When I was, I'm not like that no more. I'm just telling you how I used yeah. to think. Yeah, you used to be. That one, I'm yeah, just telling you my, my be. how I used to think, and it actually yeah. sounds re crazy when I hear it back now. Yeah, I can't believe I used to be the way I am, y'all. Remember how the way I used to be? Like I used to. I don't to, know like, if you was a used to. Man, I I was a used to. I'm still a used to right <laughs> I now. Don't know. Used to. I gotta see. I don't believe it. I'm a used to right now. I need, bro. A, I need longer. You, yeah. I need a longer period of time. Yeah, I, I ain't seen this yet. Right? Come on, bro. You know me. This is me. This is look how long it's if been. If you were having a girl automatically, then maybe I'm like, all right, he's changed. It's two, it's about to be two years. In June to be two years. Come on, man. You gotta give me that, bro. Only reason I say it might you might be faithful now because you fat. <laughs> <laughs> That's, the only, that's literally the only reason, yo. I'm not worried about that, right. man. I'm still waxed at the end of the day, man. I'm telling you. I'm not I'm not doing nothing at all, Last man. I promise. Um, SA underscore Tuck underscore City underscore 520 wants to know what would they be doing if they knew they wouldn't fail? What but would that would be this hmm? right now, though. What would, be, what, would, what would we be doing what? if we knew we wouldn't fail? I wouldn't. I mean, that's life, right? In life, you take risk. Like life, like life is one big calculated or sometimes uncalculated risk. Like there's a chance of failure at everything. Like that's not what 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 motivates everything. me. Like I don't I don't get up and say I'm going I'm going to do this because I can't fail at it. Like I didn't know I was going to be super successful at. I didn't know I was going to be super successful at anything I'm doing. Like you roll dice and some, sometimes you hit, sometimes you don't. Relationship. Every relationship in my life. Anywhere I roll the dice, right. I don't know nothing. Literally, I just yeah. go every day is another day. Like fail, like bad. Like with, another with day. Failure, failure. You listen. Here's the thing: people don't ever want to admit, but they need to. Failure is an option. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like life is is mm -hmm. a is a multiple choice question, and you're gonna do certain things, and it's gonna be four different outcomes that may happen. Guess what? Failure could be one of those, but it just depends mm -hmm. on how you look at failure. You know what I mean? I don't look at failure as like. I lost anything. Like failure is not a bad thing to me. Failure is just a, a a way to get it right next time. You know what I mean? Or to just yes, get you on the path you're something. supposed to be on. I might be walking mm -hmm. a certain route, encounter a pitfall, a so-called failure, and have to switch directions. And then yeah, I end man. up where I'm supposed to be anyway. Count your blessings, yeah. So I don't, I don't fail you. Like I don't I don't operate like that. Like I there's no, there's I nothing lost. you gonna do that's foolproof, bro. Mm -hmm. every, time, every time I lost, I got something better. Every time I lost. So, man, I appreciate the losses with the, with the good and the bad. Okay. So appreciate them. That's it? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. All right. Well, Wax, call out your... Yeah, Wax, promote Bully and the Beast podcast. Yo, yeah, man. Y'all come to Bully and the Beast podcast, and I got another podcast. It's, it is uh, whatever she says. We out here. Um, you know, I'm out here trying to make something happen. Word, oh, like whatever she says. I got to I gotta listen to that. How many episodes y'all did already? Uh, it's two already. And it's her talking about y'all love life? Carla talking about y'all love life? Yeah, we got a couple of things, man. We got a, we got a court, man. We got a lot of couples, man. Y'all go ahead and call up uh, with your couples and y'all tell us what y'all got going on in your life and we'll try to help it out or do, fuck it up. Do any of your you old know? girls call into that podcast? Uh, it's not like a call in. It's not like bullying the beast. Bullying the beast is like we got the call ins and stuff like this. This smart. is right here. We actually got guests. Smart, yeah. smart, yeah. smart. Yeah, smart. It's, it's too different. I think it's too who different. Produces it? You produce it, Taylor. Mm -mm, 
I think y'all should take calls just one time. This is at least once a <laughs> <No>. month. <laughs> it's, 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 it's two different things. Now we, we just got guests. We, we just got a guest is be a couple and they come on and tell us about it's, it's called 50 50 court. And they come on a podcast and let us know what they got going on. We we'll try to fix it to, for them and try to get their relationship to be 50 50. You don't you know think y'all should ask Carla and Wax just one time? For what? I'm not doing we got that on Bullying the Beast. Come back, come to Bullying the Beast any time. Y'all want to ask any questions, tell us about what's going on, and we'll answer anything on that side. But right now, we just got we got couples. It's called Couples Court. It's 50 50. A lot of relationships, we got the women have 90%, and a man only got 10. But we trying to get your relationship to be 50 50. So come holler at us. I hope, I just hope Wax is as clean as he is, as he says he is. He's like, because Bullying the Beast, we already got a lot of. Yep. And all these women listen, listen they like, he's full good. of shit. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> listen, they supposed to do that. Listen, they supposed to do that. And listen, she got my she got my passcode. She got my phone number. She got everything. That shit. If they want to come, they got to come through something like that. And I ain't doing nothing. I'm telling you, I'm chilling. I, I mean, my not. mindset is on to so many other things right now. I've been easy. I hope so. God blessings. God you bless. Pippi Longstock and dreadlocks. Nah, man. Her I daughter did that. I can here. tell this, her this, daughter did that, yo. Man. Her daughter twisted no. those. <laughs> tell the truth. Tell I, the got, truth. I got a lot of these, man. Look at this, man. Listen, I got, yeah, her daughter be, twisted man. those, man. Man, you know, I ain't gonna lie to you. She did. I know. I, was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got so much. They look hair, too man. much like she a did. girl. I can tell, yo. Nah, knock it off. They do. Knock it off. You look like Pippi Longstock. Pull up Pippi Longstock. Pull up Pippi Longstock. No, you know, look like you look like the Wendy's. You look like Wendy. The logo yeah. Wendy. That, you, the red, <laughs> if you die in red, you look just like Wendy. Twenty yo. years, same thing. Yeah, that, uh, he used to like Pippi Longstocking. No, Wendy's. Go to Wendy's, you man. Like Wendy's now, you look though. like Wendy's, yo. Pippi's was up. Yo, yeah. bro, I got a lot of hair. You know, you understand what it is. We're taking up, putting all this hair all around. This shit is fucking crazy. It's a lot of fucking hair, bro. All right, ten years now. As always, if we if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart. You think we're intelligent. You think we're brilliant. Oh, he looked just like Wendy's. Come on, man. Stop it, bro. It's a lie. It's a yo, lie somebody put wax face on the Wendy's logo, yo. All right. We're going to have waxies. All right. Okay. Hey, I ain't mad at that. Listen, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely mm -hmm. right. If you listen to this podcast, you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.